Hey everybody, I'm going to be on in just a second. I totally forgot to do the email uh, to notify people with email, so I'm going to get that done really quick. Um, I'll be on in just a few minutes though. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, to watch the um, the announcement video again. So if you haven't watched it, here is your chance. By the way, how does my voice sound? Is my voice good? I had to get a new cord for my microphone, so I'm not sure how it sounds. Let me know if I sound weird um, really quick, and uh, I'll do a little countdown, and then we'll watch our little our little video. Hello to the chat. Hi, Leaf Sauce. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Cat. I'll be on in just just a moment. But how do I sound? 
Okay, sound great. Good. All right, well, let's get rocking and rolling and watch that little video, and then I'll be back right afterwards. Here we go. News. New research findings at Club Crochet. It's hard to find the perfect companion, which is why we at Club Crochet Laboratories decided to push our brains to the limit, and then beyond that limit, until they were just mushy pink goo duty brains. And then, and only then, would we be able to create the perfect companion. Our lead researchers knew we needed a creature perhaps less destructive than the dinosaurs, and a little more polite than the goblinoids. And we have good news, and somewhat bad news. The good news is that our top stitch division scientists learn how to craft the most lovable, tiny creatures that don't leave any unwanted surprises on the nice carpet. The bad news? Well, it turns out that magnets, yarn, and our special biometric augmented wibbly wobblies, or BA for short, when combined with our patented recipe, have left our cute critters with a few quirks. And their addictive personalities help them to replicate rapidly. Introducing Bonimals, the crocheted critters that love to stick, stack, and snuggle. Boop. They've been a real hit at parties. Make perfect fur baby companions. And even Yancy the Yeti has to admit they're pretty cuddly. Only the burbs seem untrusting. We're not sure why. If you'd like to create a Bonimal of your own, we put our patented design and kits at Bonimals.com. Create your Bonimal your way with over a dozen features to make a variety of creatures. They're expertly tested and feature an interactive PDF and video tutorial so you never miss a stitch. Create your perfect companion. Stick, stack, and snuggle with Bonimals. Crochet responsibly. Bonimals may cause happiness, giggles, and in some cases, extreme paranoia. Under no circumstances should Bonimals be left unattended around heavy machinery. There's my voice. All right, let me turn the audio down just a little bit okay hello everybody can you see me can you hear me is everything working I hope it is I hope it is happy April Fool's Day you're not gonna be able to fool me leaf sauce good luck good luck hello fellow uh, scientists out there <laughs> did you like my uh, video that I spent far too long um, <laughs> creating I spent all of yesterday making that uh, video, so I really hope you liked it. Um, I was really proud of it. But hello, everybody. Today, if you are not aware, we are going to be crocheting the newest creation from Club Crochet Laboratories, the Bonimals. Uh, so we got a fun, couple fun things that we're going to do today. First off, we're going to uh, be making... Sorry, this volume is just distracting let me turn that down right here there we go okay okay there's a lot there's a lot we got to cover right now that's got to pause it there okay okay all right so we got a lot to cover let's let's talk about uh what we're gonna be doing today and then we'll talk about how you can support this channel and then we're gonna talk about the giveaway and whatever this thing is right here but we'll talk about all that. All right, so first off, what we're gonna be doing today. Today, we're gonna be crocheting Bonimals. Now, I uh, I just came out with this, pa there's something behind me? <gasps> just kidding, I knew it. You think I'm a fool? You think I'm gonna, Psh, get out of here. Um, <laughs> today, we're gonna be crocheting Bonimals. Now, I just released the newest edition to the library now. You can find it right here, bonimals.com. If you wanna crochet along with me, I'm gonna be using 100% worsted weight yarn. The only color that I know for certain that I'm gonna be using is white. The rest of the colors are gonna be up to you guys because you're, you're gonna decide what bonimals we're gonna be crocheting today. Uh, we're gonna be inventing some new bonimals. I'm gonna give you a choice between a certain, like some animals 
and then we're gonna be crocheting we're just gonna be figuring it out we're gonna we're gonna make bottomless up from scratch um so that is the plan today if you would like to get a kit we have kits and the pattern available right here at bonimals.com. I spent a lot of time on the website. Just go check it out just for my sake, just to see how beautiful it is. I am so proud of it. And I think uh, not only am I really proud of the website and the video, but I'm really, really proud of this pattern. I think uh, I really, I just, I kicked it up a notch, guys. The PDF is so good. It's like, there's, there's video time codes for all the little sections that if you click the time codes, it skips you directly to that part of the video. It's all in color and it, it's beautiful. Honestly, I'm I'm very, very proud of what I did here. Um, okay, so that's my little disclaimer. Uh, you're gonna be using, we're gonna be using worsted weight yarn. I might use some black thread depending on what is, uh, what kind of bonimal we end up crocheting. Um, but that's the yarn you're gonna need. now. If you purchase a kit, it comes with everything that you see right here, including eyes and mini magnets. That's the other thing that you're gonna need for this. Um, we like using mini magnets for uh, connecting them to our bodies uh, and to each other so they can stack on top of each other. Now, during this live stream, well, wait, let me let me finish talking about that. I'm, I'm, I'm all frantic, you know? Um, okay, so those are the, oh, I forgot I have a super strong magnet in here. There we go. I got it out. Um, so those are, you'll need mini magnets, yarn. We're going to be safety, using safety bead eyes for this. I'm going to be using size 8 and 6 millimeter safety bead eyes, depending on how we want to make our bonimal. Um, if you would like to get one of these bottle O eyes, they are in the shop as well. Um, and let's see. So I think that's all the materials that you're going to need other than like stuffing. Um, for a crochet hook, I'm using a size G, four millimeter crochet hook. Let me get the, there we go. Uh, and so there's all the materials and yeah, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you want to. Um, what size are the magnets? They are 12 millimeter in diameter and two millimeters in depth. So there is your answer, Tanja. Um, if you'd like to help support this channel, there are a few ways to do so. Um, the easiest, cheapest way to support is just like this video down below, subscribe to the channel. If this video gets 550 likes, I'm upping it again because somehow you guys keep hitting that threshold for a new giveaway. And I don't know how, I was confident that you guys would not get that like uh, count by this video, but you did. So I was like, oh my gosh, we got a new giveaway. So I crocheted a new bonimal for that. We'll talk about that in a second. But if this video gets over 550 likes, we'll do another giveaway next next week for next week's live stream. Um, yeah, so that's the easy, cheap way to uh, support this channel. But if you'd like to support us monetarily, there's a few ways you can do that too. First off, you can purchase kits, patterns in the store. Go buy this bonimals book. It's really good. Um, the best way to support is with a membership though. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of club crochet patterns, including this Bonimals pattern. So if you are a club crochet member and you go to bonimals.com and you're logged in, it'll say download the PDF and you can just download it right there. Um, you just need a membership. Memberships start at only $5 a month and you can even get a free trial uh, to just give it a shot. Uh, members also get monthly kits mailed to their door each month with all the materials they need. This month's kit is going to be for a Bonimals kit. So, and, and we are extending it till tomorrow. So if you sign up right now, if you sign up today, you will get a kit mailed to you tomorrow for a group of Bonimals. So you can make a, a bunch of different kinds of Bonimals that comes with the magnets and everything that you need. Uh, but, and it's only $15 for your first sign up, whereas the kit's normally $30. So if you sign up today, you get a pretty solid discount. And if you sign up, I'm going to, uh, put something out to say thank you so much for you for signing up during the live stream. Let me actually open that up so I can see if anybody does sign up during the live stream. Okay, cool. Got it set up. All right. Oopsie, that turned my light on by accident. Okay, so that's the m main way to support is with a membership. You can also support by um, getting a, uh, we have a bunch of merch in the store. So there's, there's pins, we've got a bunch of stickers. And then the other last way you can help support is with a donation. So 
if you would like to donate today with a super chat or with a tip, however you want. If you donate for any amount of money, I'll put out a bonimal for you. But if you donate for $5 or more, I will put a bonimal on myself. And uh, I have a bag of bonimals. There's some bonimals in here that you've never even seen before. So I'm just gonna choose one out and put it on me to say thank you for donating, uh, especially if you donate for $5 or more because, uh, yeah, and we'll see how many bonimals I have on me. Last time we did this, I had way too many bonimals. And also, this time, if you put a bonimal on me, I'm gonna name it and I'm gonna remember that name. I'm gonna start writing them down and we're gonna keep track of the names of all the different bonimals for you. Um, okay, so that is the gist of how you can help support this channel and all that other fun stuff. Uh, 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 blah, blah, blah. Support, donation, yada yada. Cooper already donated. Oh, oh, a minute ago, Cooper donates with, oh my gosh, 25 buckaroos. Thank you so much, Cooper. Um, by the way, if you want a tip, it's just clubcrochet.com slash tip or with a super chat. There should be a little dollar icon in the chat. Cooper said, I'm absolutely in love with all the bonbons. They're already replicating. <laughs> and just make sure to take a tear dude to relax. You don't, oh, Cooper, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you appreciating. Um, well, let's put out a bonbon for you on me. Let's see. Let's start with, um, I really like this one. So we're gonna start with this one. Uh, Cooper, you get to name it. We're gonna put this weird looking Bonimal on me. Uh, he's, I just really like the eyes a lot. Uh, this is like the alternate way that you can make eyes. There's a few different ways in the in the book that teaches like different eyes you can make. So uh, I really like these eyes a lot though. They're like, like more classic frog eyes. So we're gonna put this on me. And to start, we'll go right here on the shoulder. There we go. Okay. So there you go, Cooper. Your, your Bonimal is out. You, it just needs a name. Um, okay, so we need suggestions. I love the idea of doing a panda, by the way. So I saw panda. I think I saw a hippo in there. Um, did I see hippo? Or am I just imagining? Ooh, a crocodile would be fun. Okay, so yeah, hippo, tiger. Okay, so let's go hippo. We got hippo, tiger, panda, um, and uh, we can do cow. We are, I've already made a cow, but we can do a cow. Frank. Okay, so this guy's name is Frank. All right, so we're gonna have these written down later. Um, uh, actually, if anybody wants to start writing them down in order of the bonimals that I, that we name, uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, okay, bunny, snail, doggy, um, chameleon. Oh, I love chameleon. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna do those. Four. I'm gonna put out in the chat right now a poll so you can choose what we're gonna I'm gonna try to make four or three today should we make first okay so we got panda uh, I think it was crocodile crocodile is gonna be tough if we do crocodile but I'm up for a challenge I mean panda just seems really cute though um, hippo, which I honestly would be super down for a hippo. And then the last one was um, a chameleon. I really like that idea too. I spelled chameleon wrong. There we go. All right, I just put the vote, the poll in the chat. So there's your chance. Uh, go ahead and vote which one you want me to make. I just put it in the chat. I did see the red panda one. We'll have to put that up for the vote next time. Um, okay, so votes in the chat right now. Uh, please don't uh, uh, comment the same thing too often. Okay, the last thing I want to say, <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot to say. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to uh, talk about is our giveaway today. So, we've got a bonimal under this fella right here. This frog has got a bonimal that he's ready to birth. And you guys have to guess it. If you get it right, uh, the first person who guesses it right will win a kit. Will win the Bonimals Crochet Kit and I'll ship it to you or you'll get a gift card so you can purchase whatever kit you want if you don't want the Bonimals Kit. Um, but the first person that gets it right will win the Bonimals Kit. The next 10 people that get it right will win the book. Free book, if you get it right. 
Um, so you gotta guess what bottom was under here. I put the link for where you can guess in the chat or in the description of this video, but I will put it again. Let's put it in the chat right now. Someone's already guessed. Ooh, and that was a good guess, actually. I'll 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 tell you that's a good guess. Um, one second. Where is the chat? Here it is. Uh, guess today's Bonimal. Boom. There you go. Okay. So I just put it in the chat. That's where you can guess. It's free to enter to win. Um, uh, but the pattern is not free, so ghetto. Uh, it is, it is $9.99 for the pattern. Or, or, um, uh, or you can get a free trial for the for a membership and then you can download it for free so you can you can do that way if you want and then you can cancel your trial if you really want to um okay so that is the dealio there there's a bottom one to here and then the last thing i wanted to talk about is this picture right here if you post a picture on instagram with hashtag bonimals b-a-w-n-i-m-a-l-s it will show up here eventually um, it takes a second, but it will, sh it should at least, we haven't tested it out really, so uh, let's hope it works, but it should post, be posted here uh, if you post a picture on Instagram during this live stream. So that's kind of cool. It'll also be on the home screen of the Club Crochet page. So it just, you know, post a picture if you like it. Um, clues will happen throughout this video. I've got five clues for what is under this uh, frog here. So I will be releasing clues intermittently throughout the video, and uh, it is not something you've seen yet. So you've never seen this Bonimal before. And the Rainbow Pin uh, X Monkeys, the Rainbow Pin will come out on the website ASAP. I just haven't, I haven't done it because I've been a goofball. So I just need to, honestly, that's just the case there. I need to do it. Um, ooh, Happy Etta, thank you for your donation. One dollar donation from Happy Etta. We're gonna put out, let's see, let's see. Let's do with a, a fox. We're gonna put a fox out for you, Happy Etta. It's gonna be right there. Let's go ahead and get this cleared and figure out what Bonimal we are crocheting. Put that back. Let's get these guys out of the way. Got a million magnets million bazillion magnets okay so this is for happy etta and then we got coopers here and then our poll oh panda is winning big time okay so i think i mean 76 votes and like 50 percent of them are pandas so we're gonna call it let's go with a panda all right so we're gonna make a panda that means that we need colors we need we're gonna need that color i'm gonna use off white for our white um, only because we're we want to use white white this white for the eyes so you can kind of see the difference there just so we can have a little bit of contrast between um, the eyes and the body color and then we'll need black yarn for the panda itself and then we're going to need uh, to look up pictures of pandas so let's look up pictures of pandas to see what usually when I look up pictures of something that I want to crochet by the way I look up the name of it and then I look and then I type cartoon after it so I'm going panda cartoon um, the good thing with pandas is that they have uh, actually dark eyes with a little bit of white around them so hmm, I might need to figure something out there the nose should be easy um okay Sorry, I'm thinking. I'm just trying to think about how we're going to do this. Panda's going to be fun, though. The arms and legs are going to be easy because I can just do black for that and then white for the main part of the body. But it looks like their top half is dark. Oh, boy. This is going to be... Okay, we need a Bonimal to look at. Okay, so let's look at this Bonimal and figure out how we're going to do this. So I know for sure we're gonna use black for the ears really quick. Hi, Naughty Flowers. Um, I'm sorry I haven't emailed you back, by the way. Um, I, it's just been a long, it's been a long week. 
but I will uh, get to you soon. Oh my gosh! Curious Snail just donated for $50? Okay, well that gets two. You get two Bonimals for sure for that. That's crazy, dude. You're crazy. Thank you so much. And we got a new member. Oh my god. Hannah. Or Ham... Haman. Haman. Okay, so we got three Bonimals to add. I think for memberships, I'll put a Bonimal out on me too. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to start picking them randomly. We got an elephant. Oh my god. That's like the best elephant ever too. So that one is for... We need two for our main, for our uh, curious snail, because that was such a big donation. We're gonna do a bunny and an elephant, and then one for Hamna. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna put, if you get a regular membership, I'll put it on screen, and if you get a pro membership, I'll put it out on um, the camera, or on my body. So this is gonna be for Hamna for becoming a Cub Crochet member. Thank you so much. And these two are going to be for the incredible Curious Snail who donated an insane amount. Thank you so much. Um, Curious Snail, you get to name this elephant, which is a big, that's a big ask. So uh, name this elephant and make it good because this is a good elephant. He's a good boy and he needs a good name. We're gonna put the elephant here go and then this our our little mouse here let's see oh mouse come back here i should have enough bonimals for the entire live stream let's hope let's hope i do have a lot Ooh, a wolf would be cool i like that idea whoever said that uh the pink blobby one is a frog that i did like a little like kawaii mouth on so that's what the froggy is Okay, so we're making pandas though. We're making pandas and we just gotta, we gotta keep our brains, we gotta keep our brains uh, active here. We're gonna start with this black yarn and I'm gonna make the ears. Now, if you're following along in the, in the book, if you want to, I'll tell you what parts of the bottom wall I'm using for each part of this. Um, for the ears for a panda, I think I'm gonna use the mini bump, which is on page 12 of the ebook. Um, so that is what I'm going to start with. Uh, the YouTube analyst, yes, I do normally crochet, uh, do live streams on Sunday, but we are leaving town uh, for the weekend. And I wasn't going to be able to, so I switched it to a Friday. Um, okay, so that's what I'm going to do for the ears. It looks like pandas have two black, little tiny black ears, so that's going to be pretty easy. And I don't think I'll have to make um, Louis alert. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have to make any kind of body parts for this, uh, for a panda that aren't already in the ebook. I think I might be able to just use the patterns that are in the ebook itself to make this, which is going to be pretty cool, but we'll see. Um, Kat, congratulations on the new job. Oh, but you start on Sundays. Oh, no. Well, still, congratulations on the new job. I don't think we got a name for this for the elephant or the mouse. We need a name. We need a name. Um, okay, so these are what I'm gonna do for the ears for a panda. And then for the nose, for the face, I think I'm gonna try doing the jowls for the face. Um, this is not a tutorial. No, we're just gonna we're crocheting based on the patterns in the ebook. Um, I want to use this off-white, though, instead. Ooh. If I can find the end of it. There it is. Oopsies. I knotted it. Um, and then the someone else had a question. Oh, when should I buy the April kit? Um, okay, so if you sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership right now, you're going to get, uh, we're shipping it out tomorrow uh, for the Bonimals kit. Um, so if you want to sign up for a membership today, you'll get, um, not only will I put something out for you, but you'll also get a Bonimal kit actually mailed to your door. Uh, and it's the last day, so it's now or never. Tomorrow we are going to be turning off the um, 
option for signing up for a pro membership for this month. Uh, if you sign up after, if you sign up like on on um, Sunday, for example, you will get a uh, you'll be signed up for the next month's kit, which is going to be um, our Earth Day crochet along, which is also going to be really, really, really cool. So uh, regardless, it's going to be a good kit. Um, I think that this will be it for the um, for that. OK, Diz Wolf. Oh, she, he wants to name it Fival. That's a good name. A lion line would be great. I'm so sorry, Alice. Let's see. There's medium sized lion. Okay. All right, so I think this will work for the face, and then I'll just do a little black nose on top of that. And then I think what I can do for the eyes to make it so that the. Um, I, don't, I forgot a needle. Um, to make it so that the eyes can get like black around the outside of the eyes. I think I could just do color changes for that. We're gonna that's what we're gonna try. Or we could use actually you know what we might we might do something wild and crazy. See so that's gonna be the nose for a panda. Uh, and then we're going to need to start making white for the face. Uh, okay, before I continue that, I need to open this window because it's a million and a half degrees in here. A million and a half. So if you hear weird noises, it's because I opened the window. And if a, if a raccoon walks in, well, that's okay. I'll have these bonimals fight, fight them off for me. Um, okay, let's see. Do we got any new? Nope. Okay. These are, like, I only have three on me, and they are already weighing me down, which is kind of funny. Um, by the way, I still don't have a name. We need a name for the elephant and the um, the mouse from You Curious Snail, uh, if you got one. If not, that's okay. We can we can have someone else name it for you. Um, okay, I think that's all I'm going to need to, like, actually sew onto our guy. Do, do pandas have tails? No, they don't. Okay. Or if they do, they're like little dinky little tails. Okay. Yeah, you know what? This will be actually pretty easy, I think, because all we're going to have to do, we just might need to embroider on some white yarn so that the eyes don't look too, like, weird. But I think as long as we go... Oh, Ellie the Elephant's a good name. One, two, three, four... Oh, wait, before I continue on this head, because um, we're starting the body of our bonimal, uh, let's put the first hint out. Um, I think it's a good time. Let's just get it going. So our first hint for our bonimal on the corner here, uh, again, I will put this in the chat for where you can guess. Oopsies, that's the wrong thing. We want, um, which button is it? Oh, down here. Boom. That. Except for this white square needs can be shrunk back. All right, so the first hint for our bonimal that is underneath this frog is that it does not see well. And I put it in the chat again for you to guess, but it doesn't see well. Whatever animal's under here doesn't be, isn't, you can't see good. You can't see good light. Um, do you get anything for subscribing? No, uh, I, I can say thank you so much for subscribing the Crochet Sloth. That would be sweet. Um, if you subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. But if you become a Club Crochet member, I will. And it's actually free to sign up for a membership. It's a free trial. Um, okay. All right, so we're going to continue our, our panda here. But, yeah, our first hint for what's under that bonimal, or what bonimal is under there, is uh, that it doesn't see well. Whatever it is, it can't see good like can't see good light. I did give it big old eyes, but <laughs> like, yeah, it just, it doesn't see good light. It don't go, it don't go and see good light. All right, we're gonna use black yarn. For this. 
So for our eyes, normally I use white yarn for my eyes, but I'm going to be using black yarn because it's a panda bear. They have got dark eyes, like dark uh, hot city eyes. And then I'll, I think I'll add the safety eye in. And then we'll add some white yarn around it to add some like color to it. But we'll see how this goes. One, toss that to the side. Um, yes, the giveaway is free. It's totally free uh, it, to enter the giveaway. It is, um, all you have to do is guess it right and then you win a, you can win a free Bottomless Crochet Kit or a, uh, an ebook. So if you're the first one right, you'll win a, the kit, which comes with the ebook. Um, and if you're the, within the top 10, right, the first 10, then you win the ebook. One, yeah. And if you don't, if you don't want the Bonnemouth Crochet Kit, then I'll give you uh, a um, gift card to the Club Crochet store that you can use on whatever you want. Uh, and it's actually a bigger gift card than we've been doing in the past. Uh, it's gonna, it's a thirty dollar kit, so we're gonna do a thirty dollar gift card if you win. Yeah, so you see, those are going to be where the eyes are going to go. We're going to sew on the nose in front of that, and then sew the ears on on the outside of that. So let's see. That. I think we can pull the white out through the top of the head to make it even cuter, too. Is it blurry? Okay, hold on. I can fix that. I, you know what? I'm just going to turn on autofocus and just hope and pray that it stays in focus. Because I've been noticing that I've been re-watching sometimes on the live streams to see like how it looks. And I've noticed that it sometimes gets blurry. So, yeah. I'll, let me know. If it, if it gets blurry and doesn't decides to focus on the wrong stuff, um, I'll turn off autofocus. And I'll, I'll just do it manually. Peanut and Cheddar? Oh my god, Ryu, that's a great name. Okay, five. Okay, Curious Snail has named it. We got Fivel the Mouse. That's going to be this one, which is a great name. I'm guessing because Fivel Goes West, which is an amazing movie. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. And then Ellie the Elephant, of course. Ellie the Elephant. And if anybody can, please keep track of these names. <laughs> Uh, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember. But so far I can remember. We got Frank, the weird frog on my shoulder here. Ellie, the elephant on my other shoulder. And then Fivel, the mouse on my chest. I think those are pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Cool, cool. Thank you, Zoe. Yes, yes, it is true. I think you can make almost any animal using the things that I added to the in the ebook. Um, but I am going to be updating the ebook regularly. Uh, so the ebook will update with. Oh, thank you so much, Cooper. You're the best. Um, I'm going to be updating the ebook with additional features that you can add. So uh, soon there's going to be the features for the elephant are going to be added to the ebook. Um, and. Uh, and like other characters and then also there's going to be other full length patterns for each for individual animals um, so I'm going to do an, when I do f extra features like an elephant I'm going to do like a whole video tutorial for the elephant that way like in case you want to crochet one of these things but you don't have the like you know you want you need to use a video tutorial I'm going to have that option available so I'm trying to go a little above and beyond this time for uh for the production of these patterns so i think it's gonna be kind of cool sarah have i seen in uh american tale i have yes long time ago it's been a, been a while but i've totally seen it are we wiggling is the is the camera wiggling at all maybe not maybe not by the way thanks for joining sarah 
I appreciate you. Sarah is our moderator today, and if anybody, we might have some other moderators show up or are currently in the chat, and I just missed them. Um, but quick shout out to the moderators. Thank you so much for your help. I appreciate you. You can hardly hear me. Well, I I don't know if that's on you or me because from my um, from my point of view, looks like my microphone is working fine, but. I can tilt it down just a little. Sorry if that was loud. Um, okay. I think it is the music from Donkey Kong. I think this is Donkey Kong, um, uh, like the Frozen one, which is a really good game. But I might be wrong. I'm not 100% not sure. I've made so many of these Bonimals now that it's just like sec. I, I don't even think about it. I just, I just know where the stitches go. I love these little characters so much. I think this is one of my favorite new, like, yeah. I think this is one of my faves. I'm very, very proud of this pattern. Which yarn am I using? I'm currently using, I believe I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream yarn for this, um, but regardless, I'm using a 100% cotton. Uh, really any kind of 100% cotton, as long as it's worsted weight will work. Um, but really any kind of yarn in general will, will work for these patterns. As long as it's like a, uh, you know, not like mohair or, or something like really thin. Um, there are patterns available. You can find the new ebook right here at bonimals.com, uh, the Amaze feed. It is a brand new ebook that's available with either a membership level account or with a purchase. Okay, we're going to finish up this round and then I think we can already add our face. Um, the tricky part is going to be the eyes, but I think we'll be all right. We'll see. If, if this doesn't look too right, I, I think that I could have done like some color changes for the arms, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we might need to add like a little stick of bamboo in its mouth. And of course you guys are going to have to name it. The good thing is these are so quick to make that we should be able to make three of them, maybe even four in this live stream, no problem. And then later this month, we're gonna do a live stream crochet along for the Bonimals that come in the kit um, that are actually that actually are taught in the book. So we're, we'll make a bunny, a, a pig, and a, um, a mouse and a frog later this month in a couple of weekends. Um, okay, so we start with the eyes. Or should we do the other parts? Let's do the eyes first. Um, and I think I'm gonna try six millimeter eyes for these because the eyes are already black. I think this is a Pokemon song, but I'm not sure. Um, the, I mean, technically, uh, Rachel, this the pattern that I'm using right now is is in the ebook. I'm using only parts from the ebook, so it's already in there. I don't think there's anything different in this pattern so far that I'm doing that isn't already in the book. Uh, it's a very versatile pattern. It lets you make a lot of different kinds of characters. So we just put this eye right there. You know what? We might not even need to do white around the eyes because that's actually not bad. You can still It's still pretty legible that the eye is there, but we'll try it out. We'll, we'll see how it goes. If, it, if I do... Like we'll try to add an, add some uh, white around the outside just to see how it goes. But you see how it's gonna go, and then this is gonna go right there, and then we're gonna do a little nose on that. Now the gel, this might be a little much for our panda nose, but we'll see. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and lock these eyes in place and try adding eye, uh, white. Yeah, I'm basically using the pug, uh, like, design for our panda here. To a degree. 
I think the nose might need to be different though. We might need to do some alterations. Let's see. No, I mean, we might be able to make it work. Let's see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, first thing that I want to do is I want to move this around, move the eye around just a little bit so that it's more evenly spaced. Looks not bad. So we'll sew the ears on the outside, nose on. Let's try the nose next just because I want to make sure this works before I um, go through too much work on the rest of it. And, oh, you know what? I do also want to add, let's add a little, do we want to add a little tongue? Or do we want to add some bamboo to its mouth? What do you guys think? Bamboo or tongue? Comment now. Did you guys like my um my voice for the the release video? I was really proud of it. So if we do that and then I do like a lot of nose work there, I think it'll not be terrible. But we might need to try something else. Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. Okay, everybody's saying bamboo. And I, you know what? I agree with you. I agree with you. Some bamboo, that's a good idea. So we can add bamboo a little later even. We don't need to worry about that too much just yet. That. And then we'll see how the nose works on top of this. If it doesn't work, we can just cut this out. Actually, before I even sew that on, let's let's just try it out. Let's go back down here. Does anybody know why pandas are black and white like this? I don't know. Maybe it's like a... I mean, maybe a camouflage thing? I don't know. I, I have no idea why pandas ended up black and white. If anybody knows, let me know in the chat. Seems like a, a strange evolution option. What? Kudos. See? So that looks a little weird, but if I keep doing that over and over, it might like look pretty good, I think. It's currently looking a little bit more like a dog than I want. Um, we might not we might need to go back and change this to a bobble stitch and have to like work around that instead to blend in with shadows well okay i guess that kind of makes sense dog than I want it to. I just think that the nose is too high up, maybe. Maybe if I put it down, like, to there. And then I wrap it around that center part even more. And then I add white around the eyes and then the ears and the feet. But it does have a dog looking thing, right? Right now? loving it so far though it's not it needs work still see what I'm trying to do so if I can get this like more like that the 
bamboo might help a lot too. I mean, it's not bad. I have, I've made worse bonimals. We'll see. We will see, yeah. What did Rio say? Pandas are black. Oh, optimize body temperature. That's interesting. <laughs> when I make bears, they never look like bears until they add the ears. Oh, good, good point. That is a good point. Yeah, once we add the ears, maybe it'll it'll help the look a lot. I mean, I can always do it again in like not that long if we want to redo it, but we'll see. I think it'll still get panda -y. Oh, yeah, that, that helped. I think that helped a lot. Um, the white around the eyes might help, and then the ears, of course, and then the feet. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and call it there with the nose. Yeah, let's call it there with the nose, and I'll just double knot everything. Um, I can make alterations in a bit, too. When I was originally designing these bonimals, uh, I was trying to make every single one of them a absolutely no-sew pattern. But then I realized it's just limiting me when it comes to like customization. It's so hard to turn like certain parts of the pattern into no-sew. So I decided to give that part of, up of it, which is part of the, um, the design process for me. Little bear, little bear. Okay. Ooh, I could use some ice cream. I want ice cream. You didn't miss much. There was a rabid squirrel that came in here and I, we had to fight it off, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, when is the next hint? Be patient. There will be another hint, I promise. The ears... Okay, so the ears for a bear are actually... They actually look like they're more at the top of their head, kind of like a um, like a bunny's ears a little bit. So let's go ahead like that. Yep. Oh my gosh. Dude, who said that fact with the ears? Yeah, I agree. This it's like it's like barely sewing, Cooper. It's like half sew sewing on. It's more like just attaching. Attaching is what we should call it. Less than it's less of sewing, more of attach. Let's try that one again. Pull too hard. I don't know my own strength. By the way, quick shout out to all the people that helped me test this pattern out. Um, I went on Discord uh, and asked a bunch of people if they could test out the pattern for me. Uh, and I got a bunch of feedback, really quick, really good feedback. One of those testers was Cooper. Thank you, Cooper. Um, and there were a bunch of other people. So you know who you are. Uh, go ahead and say hi in the chat if you were someone that tested it out for me. Uh, but I really, really, really appreciate the help from everybody that helped test it out. Because it was a quick turnaround testing process, you know? Try a squirrel. Squirrel would be fun. We can add squirrel to the to the vote for the next Bonimal today. That is a panda's ear. That's a panda ear. Do another one on the other side. Testers to the rescuers. I just want to get that fuzzy, that fuzz up from the top of him. 
This is the front, okay. No, the hint is that it doesn't see well. Oh, but this is a fly on the end of the, the guy's tongue, if you, that's what you meant. enough so that the knots pop through on the back so I don't accidentally break the yarn there we go okay little ears boop Okay, let's see if we can add some white around the eyes to give it more of a, um, oh, I don't know if I'm feeling these ears anymore. Well, maybe. It's just maybe a little too much on top of the head now. Let's add, the, let's add white around the eyes. What do I do with the white? Uh, oh, question. Question from uh, Abby. They need Abby needs my opinion. They said they have this yarn that splits really easy. What do they do? Um, so I think there's two things you can do to help uh, mitigate some of the splitting. Uh, the first way, first thing you could do is just use a bigger crochet hook. Um, that'll help you from accidentally like going halfway through. Oh yeah, this is gonna help a lot. Um, that'll help from going halfway through a the yarn. And then the other option is to uh, really try to make sure that you're scooping and hooking onto the yarn when you're when you're crocheting with it. I know that's not like an amazing answer, but when you have yarn that splits really easy, it, it's just tough. It's, it's a tough thing to work around. Um, thing to work around so this is what I'm thinking for the eyes see what I did there I added just a little bit of white on the outside of the eye to give it more of a like more of a something there making a little bit more panda -y. just more noticeable that the eyes there that one and let's do it on the other side too hopefully we can replicate it really well without like messing it up which might be easier said than done but we'll see i probably should have done this before i locked the eye into place but oh well well actually this might work might work um, people that keep asking what the answer is in the chat I'm not gonna tell you the point is for you to guess you know I'm not gonna tell you if you're right or wrong I'll tell you at the end when you see it I will tell you that the hints are gonna get easier and easier uh, it starts the hints are gonna start hard and then they're gonna get easier as time goes on so that is my first, or that is that is a uh, a bit of a hint. Basically, like there's a lot of animals that don't have good eyesight.
Whoa! Ha <laughs> Kelly. Kelly said there's 101 people watching. It's a sign that I should make Dalmatians. You're funny. Dalmatians would be hard because of all the spots. But maybe I could do it. All right, so I think that's not a terrible panda start, especially once I add a little bamboo stick in his mouth. Um, next up, let's uh, finish it up, actually. We're almost done. Um, we don't need to add a tail, I don't think. Uh, will someone look for me? Does Do pandas have tails? And if they do, are they, like, substantial? Should I even make a tail, or should I just not bother with one? Ooh, a giraffe bonamole. That would be funny. With a long neck. That would be funny. Might be tough, though. I don't know if I could do that on the live stream because of the spots again. But I do like that idea. All right. Oh, wait. His legs and feet. His arms and legs are black, so we need black done again. Bunny tail will work. Okay, bunny tail. Yeah, does it have a dark tail? Let's, let's look. Panda tail. Oh, they're so cute. They do have tails. Yeah, I agree. A bunny tail would totally work. I don't even need to change colors either. So that means that I could just go back a few stitches and do that. Because I think it's the third stitch that turns it into tail. Let's look. Let's look at the tutorial. No, just one. Yeah, okay, this is it. Okay. Two, three. Now, the one thing that I have, at least so far, maintained is that every single Bonhamel has, um, every single Bonhamel has been an animal with four legs. Um, so, things with fins, I haven't made yet. I mean, I'm sure it could be turned into a Bonhamel, but I haven't experimented that much with that yet so someone's saying oh a puffer fish would be good i mean it would be a probably pretty cute bonimal but um uh i haven't made one without legs yet so i don't know how that i don't know how it would go one two three one more Four. And then switch over. One. I mean, guys, that's legit looking like a panda to me. A very tiny panda, but a panda nonetheless. <laughs> you guessed a fish? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, well, there's a good hint for you. Not a fish. It could still be a lizard or an amphibian, of course, because we have like frogs and stuff. Or obviously it could be a mammal, because we've done a lot of mammals. One, two, three, four. Switch over. One. Keep going. A sausage dog. You mean like a like a wiener dog? What I do? I don't know how I do a wiener dog, honestly. Because there's not really, like, length to the bodies. You know? Panda's a fun one. I, I wasn't expecting to do a panda in the live stream. So that's kind of a fun... It's a nice, fun challenge. First challenge. I think... I still think I could have done the nose maybe a little bit better by doing... Uh, by using the... The bobble stitch nose from the mouse instead of a um, the jowls that I used. Uh, if you are following along in the ebook and you want to make your own uh, panda, uh, try try out the bobble stitch nose instead for your panda and let me know how it goes. I think it'd be a little bit more bear-like. And then, and then just embroidering on like the the black part for the nose. Two, 
two. Okay. Boom. All right. Black yarn drop. We're almost done. All we need to do is add the magnets. We'll call it. It works. Yeah, we just need to stuff them. Like, and so close. Could have done better, I think, but pretty good start I would say we just could use more black like that goes around the back I think a little maybe and I think I could have done the nose just slightly better And yeah, again, if you want to try and get a picture of your Bonhamel on screen, I don't know if it ha I don't know if anybody's done it yet. Let me see if uh let me see to make sure this thing is working. If I go to Instagram and then I look up hashtag Bonhamels, we'll see if there's any uh new posts there. Oh, there has been a post. Okay, wait. So Let's see, how do I make this so it, uh, it works actually then? If I refresh this page, will it work? Nope. All right, well, hopefully it'll update soon. It should update soon. Someone has posted a picture of a Bonimal, so we'll see. Okay. Whoa, 111 people. I think that might be a new record. Hello, everybody watching the chat and saying hi. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Pandas are so freaking cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got to add the bamboo, too. I, I, have a, I have an idea of how we can do bamboo, though. That should be pretty easy. Here's how I'm gonna add bamboo. Is we're gonna get some yarn, or some some of these. Add a green. So I think all I need to do for the for uh for bamboo is if I just use a little piece of pipe cleaner like this much maybe that's probably more than I need. I bend it in half and I twist it, leaving a little bit of a hole at the end there. We don't need a very long piece of bamboo, I don't think. I was really hoping I had green for this, but. That should be good. And then I just go and we put this on the inside. One right to that stitch. Like right here. And then the other one through right here so that it's slightly poking to the right. That's what we want. I'm just stretching that stitch out a little bit so I can get the end of the pipe cleaner in there. But just like that, shove that pipe cleaner in there as far as I can. So it's like, oh my god, this is gonna this this might work. Now a green pipe cleaner would have worked better, but we're still gonna wrap it in yarn, so it won't be that big of a problem. I'm gonna use green yarn, even though it's like a pale green for actual bamboo. I don't have any pale green, or if I do. I just don't know where it is. I 
And then because we're doing it in a pipe cleaner, we can bend it in a different direction too. The big thing I want is like little ends on the end of it so it looks like little leaves. Um, but I have this like not too bad green that I think will work. Um, I, obviously I don't have very much of it, but I don't need too much. I don't need like that much. And then, oh, we got a new pro membership. Mad Tatter, oh, I like that name. Whoever is the Mad Tatter, if you're in the chat, Good name, I like that. Um, we're gonna put a bonimal up on me for you, Mad Tatter. And uh, if you are in the chat, you get to name it. Here is your bonimal. We're gonna do this pink frog, which is so cute. It's actually one of the first ones I made. So, uh, uh, Mad Tatter, if you're in the chat, say hi and let me know. Uh, you get to name this guy. And if you don't name it by the time there's another donation, If you don't name it by the time there's another donation, I will, uh, we'll have the chat name it. But we'll see. All right, so there's yours, Mad Tatter. I don't know if you're in the chat, but thank you so much for becoming a pro member. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay. So I just do that with the green yarn. We go through right here. And then this part's really easy. Um, I love using pipe cleaners for my patterns because it's really easy to just wind it up a pipe cleaner like this. And we'll wind it back down and fill up all the places that we're not covering. But this is why green yarn, a green pipe cleaner would be even better because we wouldn't need to worry about like the pipe cleaner showing through. But once you get to the end, you just wrap around it. One, just a bunch. Three, over here more. I should have used, maybe I could have used white for the pipe cleaner. That would have probably worked. Because the inside of bamboo is usually pretty white, I think. Oh, whoops. I'm doing it the wrong way. Mad Tatter isn't in the chat. Okay, well, that's all right. We'll have y'all name it in just a sec. I think I might leave some like, see, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave some of the, some of the pipe cleaner like showing through the end there. So it looks more like it's a piece of bamboo that's been like ripped open, you know? Cause that looks pretty bamboo -y to me. And then we'll just wrap it back up and try to cover as much as possible, but also try to make it very obvious that it's wound up like that because bamboo usually has like a pretty clear like rings around it doesn't it i think that looks pretty good and then we'll go over to there like that like that right that looks pretty bamboo-y to me we're gonna we're gonna say it we're gonna say that is bamboo and double knot i think a giraffe bottom will be really funny sunshine the only thing is i don't think i can do it on the live stream just because there's gonna be a lot of like trial and error on that one because it's gonna have to be a long long neck and then we'll have to do the spots that's the biggest thing is i don't know how to do the spots off the top of my head but that's pretty good for, and I love the little fuzzes on the end too. I, I'm pr I'm pretty proud of that actually. That's that's not bad at all. All right, next up, we need to add the magnets. Now, if you are making bonimals, this is a really important step: is to put a magnet into the top of it first. You want to go all the way to the top of your bonimal, and then you want to make sure that the polarity of the magnet is the same as other bonimals. So I use one at the top to make sure that it's the right polarity and that is the right polarity, which is good. When I get the right polarity, you wanna shove it as much to the tip of the top of it as you can. And then I'm going to cheat a little bit and use this big magnet to really pull it up to the top. And 
then we'll use these two at the top like that to hold the magnets in place. And then we can stuff it a little bit with this. We will put a wolf in the vote for the next Bonimal on the stream for you, okay, Diz Wolf? Well, raccoon would be fun too, though. Okay. Good start there. All right, now we can sew it, uh, do the last round and sew it closed. But there we go. Like, come on, guys. Like, that's pretty good. The fact that we made a panda using the actual pattern. That's, <laughs> that's this is a good test good test subject here go that I think we need one more stitch There we go. Okay. All right. We'll stuff it a little bit more. Sew it closed with the magnet in it. And then uh, I'll give you guys another hint for what's under this frog here. And we'll go through the rules of the giveaway once again for anybody that's joined that didn't know about the giveaway. By the way, there's a giveaway. It's a pretty good giveaway too. I think this is the biggest giveaway that I've done on a live stream at least in a long time. So that's kind of cool. All right, so magnets, and then this is what's important when you're making bonimals, is you do not want to change the polarity of this magnet because you want it to be the same as this. So you don't want to flip it. You want to hold it into the same position and then put it on the inside like that so that it is still able to magnetically charge and connect to the other bonimals. And we have a panda. Front loop to sew it closed. Okay. Four, three. We probably, actually, we probably only get to three today, Bonimals, because it seems like, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the Bonimals go. I'm not going to make any promises about a fourth Bonimal. If I go crazy quick, we'll be able to make four, but. I have a feeling we're only going to get to three. All right. We have a panda bear. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at that panda. That's not bad at all. Again, I think I could do better with the nose by using a different kind of nose than the jowls. But honestly, for a first shot at a panda, not too bad. Not too bad at all. And it, and it should stack. Yep. Look at that. Perfect, baby. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, where should we leave this panda? I guess we can leave him right here. I was going to put him on me, but that's okay. All right. So, we got our panda. Not bad. We will need a name for this panda. Suggestions in the comments for a name for a panda. And then uh, we need to do a vote for the next animal. And then while that vote's happening, I'll do the hint for the, what's under our frog. So first off, vote for the next animal. Um, I love the idea of doing a wolf. So let's go ahead. Let's say what animal to make next. And we're gonna say wolf, because I think that's a fun idea. What other options do you guys want? We got wolf, we got, um, what were options? Oh, red panda, that's what someone wanted, a red panda, which is pretty close to the panda, but you know, it'll work. <laughs> My mom texted me, sorry about that. There we go, that should help. Uh, okay, red panda. Oh, a tiger and a, oh yeah, raccoon. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, a sloth might be fun too, though. Oh, a seal would be fun. 
You guys have good ideas. Okay. All right. Options are out. I know what I'm voting for. What? Why didn't my vote work? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's going quick. Wow, 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 wow. You guys are voting fast. Okay. Vote is out for that. Now while you guys are voting on that, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do our next hint for the giveaway. Hint number two is uh, not going to get you very far. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to lie here. Um, I made sure that the hints this week were tough. And the reason I made sure that they were tough hints is because I knew you guys keep getting it a little too quick. So I needed to make the hints a little harder this time. So hint number two is that the animal under this frog, under the hints right there, right here, it's a herbivore. It's an herbivore. Pretty strictly an herbivore. And then, uh, yeah, and hint, hint number one is that it doesn't see well and it's an herbivore. So, uh, honestly, I mean, it does, it does narrow it down a little bit because some people were saying mole. Pretty sure moles eat bugs. Pretty sure. So. Wow. Wow. Good guesses. Very good guesses. Cool. All right. Wow. You guys have good, you guys have good ideas. I gotta say. All right. Llama. Llama would be fun. You're right, Kelly. It is also because you're smart. I think, didn't, Kelly, didn't you win? I think you might've won last time. All right, what's gonna what's winning here? We got 80 votes so far. Looks like Wolf is winning. Let me go. Let me see what kind of yarn we got for this. Because we're gonna probably want to use something. Got a got some gray. Okay. Now for a wolf, well, that's brown. I mean, I guess wolves can be brown. But I always think about gray for wolves, personally. You know? Let me fix this window so it's not so wild and crazy. Opening that window was a good move. It really cooled it off in here, which is nice. And why isn't this updating? Man, I wish it was updating. Let's, let's try it again. Refresh that. No, it's not updating. Okay, well we'll have to ask um I'm going to I'm going to turn that off for right now until we fix it up. And we'll have the tipper up there instead. Okay, I'm going to call it on this vote. 82 votes I think is close enough or is good enough. We got a wolf and uh yeah, a gray wolf. I think a gray wolf is a good idea. Okay, so we'll put that to the side there. And let's look up pictures of wolves. Um, cartoons. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do for a wolf is we're going to want to do some color changes in the wolf. So we're kind of going to have to do something like what we did with the fox here. And I will have to make a new tail for our wolf. Um, one that isn't in the actual PDF. We're going to have to use this little fox tail kind of thing. Uh, for our wolf, so it's gray, uh, white on the top and gray on the back. So that's going to be an alteration um, that I'll explain in a live stream. So if you want to make the wolf with us, but the majority of it's going to be pretty similar, except I'm going to do a little bit more white on the sides there, and then the ears we could do gray ears. 
that. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. We need our gray yarn. Let's clean our clean that up a little bit. Did I did I stop the hint? The oh no I didn't. I thought I ended it. There we go. All right. We're gonna need our gray yarn for the ears. We got our white yarn. We'll need our black yarn, and we'll need our off-white yarn for the um, the chest colors. We'll need. Sure. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby the dog. <laughs> Koala. Oh my God. The amaze feed. That's a great idea. An aardvark. Okay. What did you catch me with, Emma? Emma said they just caught me. <gasps> well, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's start by making the ears. Now, the ears, I'm just going to use the, um, I call them small pointed ears in the pattern. So these will be um, relatively easy ears, I think. We might be able to make our ears even bigger if we wanted to, but I think we can manage with just little ones. And I would make this end longer than this end. I'll explain that in the pattern too. I explain everything in the pattern. Honestly, I put so much work into the production of this pattern that I am like extremely proud of it. These are pretty small ears. We might need to end up making bigger ones for our wolf. Eh, these will probably work. They'll probably work. What did I do with my off-white yarn that I had? Okay, be good. Ah! Ah! I got yarn in between my toes. Toe yarn. Coming to a... Oh, wait, that's not right. Coming to a... Club crochet store near you. Toe yarn. It's the best yarn you could ever have. Toe yarn. Oh, by the way, do we have any new members? Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Nope, no new memberships. That's okay. It's better to look. Better be safe than sorry there. One. Two here. Second ear, oopsies, pull that nice and tight. And like that. Okay. That nice and tight, and then chain one. Okay. Our focus is, is messing with us here. All right, so that's what I think we're gonna do for the ears. Um, now the tail is our is gonna be a an issue, so we're gonna have to do our tail separately, and we're gonna have to use a different kind of pattern that we're gonna have to make up. And the tail is actually gonna have to be sewn on, which is unfortunate. But if we want a good wolf tail, I think that is a necessity. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start with a white yarn here, and I'm just gonna make this up. Um, I'm going to start with four single crochets in white. I'm actually using off-white. Four, and I will be adding this kind of tail to the library soon, if um, you're curious. I mean, to the um, to the book soon. So there's going to be additions to the book, and this will be one of them. And then I'm just going to do... single crochet and then an increase into each stitch around using our white I mean a single crochet then increase repeated twice so that's going to bring us up from four to six stitches if you're crocheting along with me shouldn't be too crazy and then I don't think we need to increase it any more than this um, but we will want to change colors here gray yarn that's on my shoulder 
The first hint is that it doesn't see well. The animal does not see well. yarn so then I changed to the gray yarn after doing that last round and I think I'm just gonna do a round of single crochets in our gray I don't think we need to increase up again because we do want a floofy tail but we don't want it like that floofy right I'm just looking at what I did on this box now nah, we're good just single crochets into each stitch so that's six single crochets in gray. What? Yeah, for what's under the frog. That's right. Yes, that right here. This is what this is a frog. Well, that, that's, this is a reversible frog, so this is our, uh, one of our newish patterns. That. Yeah, that's a tail. That's coming together. And then I think I can just decrease it down and just call it, because we don't want the tail to be too long. Um, and the only reason we really don't want a tail to be too long is because we don't want it to be like... Like it's still a bonimal, so the body's gonna be really tiny and stuff. So we don't want the tail to take over like all of it. We want it to be mostly about the body. So we're decreasing it down. I'm doing a single crochet and then an invisible decrease into each stitch around. And then we'll look at it. So you see how that tail's gonna come together? I guess we could have maybe done one more round. Well, let's see. If I were to sew that onto the back. No, actually, that's that's a pretty good tail. And then I'll just finish it up by doing a slip stitch into the first stitch that we made right here. Really tiny, and I'm crocheting really tightly right now. It's kind of hard to do, but. And then pull it through. Boop. Okay, so we got a tail, we got our ears, uh, our nose is going to be made in the piece itself, so we don't need to do anything fancy for that. Uh, I will stuff in these little extra threads at the end here, so that we don't have to have them there. And then I'll just add like that much stuffing on the inside, just like literally a pinch of stuffing. Just a, you just want a pinch of stuffing. I'm a chef now. T Tishy! <laughs> Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. All right. So there we go. That's our wolf's tail. Pretty easy, not too crazy, very tiny. All right. We got the ears, we got the tail. Next, we want to do. Um, Are there any other pieces that we need to sew on? No. Okay, so then we can just keep going now. I crack my neck. Ready? Here's the here's your ASMR. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get the other side. No. No, just that side. And then here's the fingers. Woo! Pippity poppity. You just can't stop it. All right. Gray yarn. Wow, 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 wow. And then I'm going to want to do just some slight color changes in the face, I think. Two, three. Yeah, Warrior Cactus, I'd love to tell you about the bottomals. Um, if you haven't watched the release video, you should go check that out. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it's actually in the start of this video. So if you want, you could just like jump to the start of this video, watch my little my little release thing, and come back. 
Um, but I'll give you a little explanation of what the Bonomos are. They're a new invention by Club Crochet Laboratories. I really tried to funnel my... Um... And Has anybody ever played the game Portal 2? I was really trying to get like into the into that kind of uh, mindset. They are little creatures that can stick and stack and snuggle and uh, they replicate rapidly. As you can tell right now, we already have one that's replicated in this live stream itself. I'm gonna leave this gray yarn behind and then I'm gonna pull it through the center. And uh, we're making eyes now. Do we want our eyes of our of our wolf to be googly or little itty bitty? So our options are we can either make the eyes more like this or more like this. What eyes would you what eyes would you rather see for a wolf? Big googles or little googles? Or, or we can do it like this, but this is, I mean, this is very, very cute. This is very, very cute. Those are our three options. Big Googles, little Googles, um, Beatty. And actually, Beatty's not an option because I'm already making the eyes. So big Googles or little Googles. Googly, googly, googly. Eaty Googles. Ooh, we got some. Ooh, ooh, we got a fight here. Some people are saying big. Some people are saying small. Dizwolf says small. Ooh, Llama says big. Ooh, it, gosh, you guys are torn. Like the fox, big Googles, little Google. Oh my gosh, you guys can't decide. All right, we're doing a poll. Wolf eyes. Big googly. Small goog googly. There you go. Let me know. What do you think? Big googly or small googly? Your choice. All right. This is fun. I really like uh, doing uh, crocheting like this so that you guys vote on like what to do. It makes it more fun. And I have a hard time making decisions. I always have. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So now is when we're going to be doing some color changes. I'm going to be using, if you are crocheting uh, using the book, we are going to be using um, the mouse nose, uh, the, the bobble stitch nose for the nose. But I am also going to do some color changes in between. Sorry, Ellie. Ellie, our elephant, is, uh, is fighting me here. I'm gonna do a color change. Like, I'm gonna go like this. Do a stitch in white. And then we're gonna change back to gray. I'm gonna do a bobble stitch in gray. Uh, do we wanna do a mini bobble or a big bobble? I think a mini bobble. We're gonna do a mini bobble stitch. Two, three. Uh, finish up by pulling through with white. So we have white on the other side, and then change back over to gray. Whew! What a complex face we're gonna have here. Hopefully this works out. 
We will find out. That, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Same thing with this white yarn. Uh, one submit, Christine, for, for the giveaway. One submission to for your chance to win. One, two. <laughs> that looks like a wolf, right? Doesn't that look like a wolf to you? No? Hmm. That's weird. I don't know why you don't see a wolf. I see, I, it's so clear it's a wolf. good name. I like Peter the Panda. Little Petey. Petey the Panda Bear. and peel it again. All right, how's this going? Wow, doesn't that look like a wolf? Wow. So much wolf, very wow. <laughs> Another hint? We only got three more hints. I will give you another hint soon. Um, I think we're gonna do, let's see, because it's gonna go, so don't do it there. So. I just realized, I think I met, I think I did this one wrong. See how it's like just a little bit taller? I did an extra round in it. Oops. So, we'll see how this works. Four. Yeah, so we're just gonna do, let's try just doing four of these in white. This is our last round of increasing. So it'll be leg, leg. I love this song. So that'll be second leg right there. And then Actually, yeah, we'll do one. One more in white. Oh, wolf eyes. I need to need to count that. Count the vote. Oh, big googly one by a lot. All right, you have you have made your decision. Big googly be the way it be. Big googly be the way it do. And then this is gonna be an increase. One, two. Yeah, 
So the white stitches are kind of veering off to the right a little bit more than I want, but it's not. I don't think it'll be a problem because the legs are going to cover up a lot of that. So a leg's going to go here, and a leg's going to go here, and a leg's going to go here. So we'll see. We will see. I'm not. I'm not sure how it's going to work out for the legs, but or for like the the patch of fur between the between the legs. I mean, we could always undo this and do a all gray wolf with, uh, and then just embroider on some white for the chest patch. But I don't know how that, I don't know how well that'll look, you know, how good that'll look. See you, Taylor. You going to see a movie? Fun. That's fun. I want to go see a movie. I saw the Batman recently. That was a pretty good movie. Anybody see the Batman? I gotta say, uh, uh, Edward Cullen, <laughs> not Edward Cullen, um, whatever that guy's name, Robert Pattinson. He does make a good Batman. I will, I will admit it. He's not a bad Batman. Not a bad Batman. Leg, boom, leg. Go there, and then three, one, two, three, and then like, yeah, okay. This will be, I think that the color change is gonna work out. I have hope. And then this will be a leg. So this stitch is actually just gonna get covered up anyhow, but we'll do the color change regardless because better safe than sorry. stitches out a little bit they're kind of getting pulled in like especially over here on the left side okay two all right all right let's add the face now we want uh you guys Requested big Googles for the eyes. One, two, two, two. We're gonna sneeze. It's important to make bottomals. Oh, you. Oh, man. I need to sneeze, but it won't let me. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I need to see turning red. I still haven't watched that. Maybe Jules and I will watch that tonight. That'd be a fun one to watch. Okay, big Google eyes. I'm going right here. We're gonna go on the inside of the eye. Okay. And then on the other side, like, that's what they did the, the burbs are mad i think the burbs are angry they feel like they're getting forgot forgotten about the bonimals are taking their place and they're like they're gonna wage war they're like it's us or them Burbs definitely don't trust Bonimals, I think. I think that there's something going on. The thieves of the sneeze. Okay, there's the eyes. Next, we'll add the ears. And I think the ears... Yeah, we're gonna go more on the side of the head for the ears. See what I do for these tail ends, by the way? Here's a little here's a little preview for the book. I cut one end shorter than the other so that I can thread them both on the needle at the same time. Like 
this and then pull it through the body like this and then just keep pulling and then I'll let loose of the small end but still ooh, wow we got we got a bit of a tangle here though there we go but still have the long end attached so that when I pull the long end so I'm, I'm gonna need to reuse the long end when I pull it eh, I can go out the next stitch to do the next part of the ear addition it's a it's a trick I figured out after making about 50 of these little dudes. Okay. Come on. Okay. Like that. Pretty good. Looking wolfy a little bit. A little more wolfy than it was, at least. We'll have both the ears. I think once we add the nose, you'll really start to see it. And then we'll do a little tuft of hair at the top, which will help also. But I think the nose will really bring it home. There's the one pointed ear. Let's do the other ear. Yes, I can totally turn down the music. Thank you for letting me know, Virginia. There you go. Let me know if that helped. How do I avoid the holes when I do decreases? Please tell me. That's what Lunar said. Um, the... Yeah, okay. So the biggest tip that I can give you is use invisible decreases. Invisible decreases uh, really help mitigate the holes for decreasing. Um, I think that is probably like the easiest, quickest way. Stop using uh, what like single crochet two together. That's probably how you're decreasing. That's how most people start decreasing. Um, so don't use those. Try using just invisible decreases. I think it will help you a lot. Um, that that honestly is like the best advice I can give you. Hmm, it does kind of look like a chinchilla so far, huh? Well, we'll see if we can get it less chinchilla-y soon. We might need to try a different kind of ear. To g to de chinchillify it, as they say the technical term go through this bit and then this bit I need to put I might add a tongue or something to it to make it a little cuter also or maybe we'll try um, we can do tongues or, or we can do uh, I guess we could do teeth but I don't really know how much like they show their teeth I mean I guess they do when they're angry whiskers now whiskers will make our whiskers will whoo, whoo. whiskers will really chinchillify it I don't think whiskers is a good idea but let's try the tuft of hair at the top of the head. That might help. Like this. Okay, now let's add the nose. The nose we're just gonna be using black yarn. And we're just gonna embroider over that bobble stitch in the center and hope that this will make it more of a wolf's nose. Let's uh, let's look at pictures of wolves again. 
right, they got a pretty like substantial nose. So we might need to add, we might need to embroider this on a few times to really get it the way we want it to. We'll start right here. One. Oh my gosh, that's a great, it, someone should totally make a bonimal out of thread. That would be so cool. Let's see if that picture updated. Nope. Unfortunately, the social media thing that I thought was gonna work totally didn't work. So we're gonna have to figure that out. One. Yeah, that's getting more wolfy. Right? Might have been better to do like not a mini bobble, like a bigger bobble might have been better, but bigger bobble bite a bit better. Bite. One, two. How does two do? I think the ears should have been bigger too. But it's not too bad. I also think the white on the side of the nose maybe is not the best move. Maybe should have done all gray there and there. We're learning guys, we're learning. It's not terrible though. Not terrible. I'll push these eyes in a little bit. Push the nose in a little bit too. And then when we add this tail in the back. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Is that big enough for the nose? <laughs> Regrets were made this day. I think it's good enough for the nose right now. We're gonna say that's okay for the nose. Okay. Chinchilla for sure. Yeah, we definitely got chinchilla vibes here. A wolf chilla. You ain't never heard of a wolf chilla before? Do they have whiskers, like pretty pronounced whiskers, or is that just in my head? Oh, I, you know what? What if we do eyebrows in black? Let's try that. Maybe if we embroider on some like more grumpy eyes. It'll give us like more of a wolfy vibe. Let's see. Like this. Mm -hmm. No, not there. Maybe from right here to then down there. Will that make it look more like a wolf? Or will that not really help at all? No, that doesn't look really grumpy, does it? Maybe right here? To up to there? Just like really tiny eyebrows? I've heard this soundtrack so much now that I knew that this song was coming next. So like right like that? Yeah, that's not bad. Let's try it. Things, yeah, things might work. We'll go like this. Let's see how this looks. <laughs> I 
mean, I don't know if it really adds much to it or not. Do we feel that adds? Oh, okay, Virginia says yes, it does. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see. I can always remove them. One thing. I like that idea, Tushy. All right, let's try the other eyebrow out. What time is it? It's already five. Okay, cool. All right, and then so the next eye we're gonna go right here and then to right there. So another just a little tiny brow. I do agree that I think these do make it look a little bit more wolfy, but I still think there was like some I think the ears are the biggest part for me that's not really selling wolf. I think if we did bigger ears, it would have helped a lot. I mean, then we could go back and do bigger ears, but they're already like so sewn in that at this point, it might just be better just to redo it. But we're not going to redo it, so we're going to live with this. And then uh, someone said little things. So let's try little things. And I think for the things, I'm just going to try embroidering on things. Because I think uh, sewing on things will be a little too much for me. For, for it to like look weird. So we're going to try this like this. Let's see how this looks. There's a little thing. It's kind of hard to tell because the other white, but... Yeah, let's double it up. Double or nothing. We listen to Christmas music here. Let's let's go to the next song. Bye, Takoyaki. Thanks for joining. Okay, let's try a second tooth here, or second, like doubling this tooth. I don't think one thing is gonna work because I don't think it'll read thing, but. I think the two, I think two things might work. Let's see. There's a thing. It's not really too noticeable, but it's a it's there. I mean, it's not invisible. And the other thing will go over here. I'm just gonna keep going with this same yarn. We'll go. We're going to go up through our hair. Go like this. Yeah, you need two fangs if we're gonna do fangs. There we go. I mean, that doesn't hurt. Looks maybe like a little coyote. Again, the ears, I think, are really what's not selling wolf to me, but it's not the worst thing that I've done. Uh, and we still gotta add feet and the tail and stuff, and I'm sure the tail will help a lot. Okay.
All right, let's do another hint for our giveaway. I'm gonna pick, make these ears stand a little bit more like angled up like that. Might also help. Um, okay, let's do another hint for the giveaway before I continue and finish this wolf up because we have three more hints and we got this wolf to make and then we have another character to make. So, yeah, I agree, Virginia. I think bigger ears was the, um, the thing that brought it down to not being too wolfy. Um, but we'll work on bigger ears for next time. Um, okay, so the next hint for our giveaway is I think gonna make things a little bit more clear. So, hint number one, it doesn't see well. Hint number two, oopsies. Hint number two was that it is an herbivore. And hint number three is that it there are five different species and three of those species are endangered. So there is your hint. I mean, we can try to do the ears bigger right now. But okay, we'll try to make the ears bigger. But that is your next hint for this for the giveaway. And here is the, oopsies. There we go. Oops. Oh gosh. There. Okay. All right. Let we, we can try to make those other ears, just to, uh, you know. See if it'll be any better. It won't hurt. It should only take me a second. All right. Let's try bigger ears. I think what I did for these ears will work, which is, I believe, a... Okay, so I think what I did for those other ears is I made them a little bit bigger by doing single, an additional single crochet. So let's see how this works. The only problem is it's gonna be tough to cut the other ears out if we do wanna add these ones instead. But we can try to figure it out. I don't think it'll be that difficult famous last words okay so this is what a bigger ear would look like oh dang that would look better huh how do we feel you're one you're two Let's make another one just in case. Ooh, Fatima thinks their answer is right. I will tell who won at the very end of the live stream. Tishy says yes, bigger ears definitely, bigger for sure. Okay, so everybody agrees. One, two. Oh, good idea, Rayu. Chewing a little bone, that'll help. Okay. All right, so we've got both these bigger ears made and they're pretty much the same as the little ears. I just did a net, an additional single crochet. This is gonna be the tough part, is trying to figure out what part of these ears are sewn on in the back to cut out. I think like it's this knot right here. This is tough though, I gotta say, this is a tough part. Might need to like pull it out. Let's use this, cause I don't wanna accidentally cut the wrong ends for the ears, you know? And then accidentally like cut our actual piece and then it'd be like a way bigger issue. 
think right there. I think if I can cut right there, we'll be good. Woo! Almost poked myself really hard. I almost had to end the live stream early because I was going to be bleeding. Almost got it. Chewing away at it like a little mouse. There we go. One ear. Can I get it out? I cut it. I'm sure I did. Didn't I? <laughs> Didn't I? Man. See what I mean? This is why I was nervous about the ear thing. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can cut right there. Bop. Bop. One ear out. Next ear. Here, maybe? That's gotta be it. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. All right, second ear out. Okay, we got the ears out. Let's try to add these bigger ones. Oops, sorry, camera. Okay. Secondary ears. Let's try this again. Start with this one. Oh, not through. Go right there. And then the side like this okay that's a little bit better that's a little bit better for sure cool this wolf was being tricky the face for this wolf was a little too much going on but I think it's gonna work out and we'll add a bone to his mouth Give him a little bit more character. Cool. All right, we're not removing these ears, so they better work. <laughs> There's one ear, a little more wolfy. A woolly mammoth. That's a fun idea. Oh, I missed a donation. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for letting me know, Cooper. We did. We totally missed a donation. 30 minutes ago. Oh my god. Tareen, my best. I'm so sorry I missed your donation. One second. Let me finish. Let me sew on this ear really quick and then let us get you a crocheted thing. Are you still in the chat? I hope you are. They say they just turned in their master's thesis, which is freaking insane. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, that must have taken you forever. I had to write a 300 page portfolio for my anthropology class, so I know what it feels like to write a big, 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 big paper. Or my anthropology major, rather. So, I totally get it. Okay. I mean, I don't get it that much because I had never got my master's, but I know what it's like to work on something for a long time and finally finish it and submit it. I don't know why that was fighting me like that. Okay.
That's pretty good. Double knot these guys. Yeah, we definitely need to add something on the on the ears in the pattern to include like this extra bit a little longer of ears. It'd be a good it'd be a good alteration to the pattern. Okay. Boom. Ears are fixed. It only took us like as long as it took to make everything else. Alright. <laughs> um Alright. Yes, it took a it took a whole a whole semester to write it. And there was a lot of corrections, but I still got a B in the class, so I didn't do that bad. Llama plays. Uh, no, you're not supposed to enter to win the giveaway more than once. So you did kind of cheat, but we'll see. We'll see. Depends if any of them are right. I think your first answer is going to be the one that I take, though. All right, so we are on to the legs, which are going to be not too tough. Sewing on the tail is going to be really easy, too. Honestly, the only hard part of this part was making, like, redoing those ears. Um, I also think we might have over-designed by adding the teeth and the eyebrows and stuff, but... What are you gonna do? Oh wait, we need our, we need our beige yarn. more boom okay oh shoot the tip oh uh, I keep forgetting okay hold on boom okay all right for Torina my best you get a bonimal let's do a bunny a bunny so this is for you, Teresa. You get the yellow bunny. Now the yellow bunny is our my like one of my favorite things I made. I actually this is the yellow bunny I make in the video tutorial for it. Um, I mean, look at that. That's so cute. It's just too cute. Uh, so you get to name it. Uh, Teresa play or Teresa my Tureen. Ugh, I'm sorry, Tureen my best. If you're in the chat, name name your little bunny here. You get to give it a name, whatever name you want, and we're gonna put it right. Um, We'll put it right here, so it's very easy to see on my on my black shirt. By the way, check it out. I'm wearing a club crochet shirt. This is my this is one of my club crochet shirts. It's kind of fun. Oh uh oh, Chaos Cities. Did you get the PDF, or are you looking at the pattern on the website? How are you viewing the pattern right now? And we still need a name for the pink frog, yes. Ah, Naughty Flowers, yes, I know. I owe you an email back about that. Um, I really appreciate your help, though. So I will get back to you as soon as possible. It's just been a long week. I actually got a few emails that I totally forgot to respond to like a jerk. Stitch was being weird. All right. One. Two. Wow, a lot of name, a lot of name options. There we go. Oh, this is Trent. Okay, cool. Yellow bunny should mean Chester. Okay, so Chester, Chester the bunny. 
I like it. I like it. Chester the bunny. I'm going to make him looking up more. I don't know if you can see him really. Chester the... Chester the bunny. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And Llama plays like the name Wilbur for the for the pink frog. I think that's actually not bad. That's a pretty good name. Wilbur. I thought I always thought it was a girl because it was pink, but that's just my uh, my stereotyping coming out. So let's it can it can be whatever kind of froggy it wants to be. All right. One, two, three. We got our legs. Okay. So it kind of would have been nice if I didn't do that white stitch. Another goof. There's so many things that would have changed. But honestly, it's pretty going pretty good. Emma signed up for a membership. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it, Emma. And we got a new pro membership, too. Okay, so we got... Oh, man. Nice. Okay, so we got... Emma. Emma. You're amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Let's put out a bonimal for Emma. Emma, we're going to put out this... <laughs> Let's put out this ridiculous looking pug. Look at how funny this pug looks. This was the first pug that I made. And you can tell that it's the first one because look at the ears. The ears are made with no sewing. So this was actually one of my like almost no sew patterns. The tail was no sewing, the ears. So this is when I was still trying that stuff out. But it's so cute looking. It's like, it's not great, but I love it because it's not great. Emma, what would you like to name your little pug here? This little goofer pug. Call him. He is a goofy pug. Goofy looking pug. And then for Carly, for a pro membership, I got a good one for you, Carly. I got a good one for you. Carly, if you are currently in the chat, say hey and give us a name for this little frog with glasses that I made. He's got little cheeks, too. So this is for you, Carly, for your pro membership. Thank you so much for becoming a pro member. Uh, and let me know what you want to name it. And Emma naming her pug Lola. I love that. So this is so we got this goofy looking frog that still needs a name from Carly. And we're gonna put it right here. And we got Wilbur, the pink frog. Tishy, you also became a member. I totally missed it. Oh, yes. I, I'm guessing this is you because it's not named Tishy, but I know it's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is you. Um, Ellersk? Is that you, Ellersk? I think that's you, Tishy. I'm going to say... That if it's not you, I totally trust you. I believe you. Let's put out something for you for your membership. What do we got? What do we got in the magic? Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love this one. Tishy. Look at your little frog. It's got, even got a little bow. What would you like to name your frog? What would you like to name your frog? We're going to put it on top of... Our panda. Um, okay, where were we here? <laughs> uh, we, we need to decrease. That's where we're at. We're at uh, near the end of this wool. Which is good. Good, good, good. Because we only got... Wow, we've already been going for two and a half hours. Yeah. So we got one more to make. There we go. That. 
I think the tail for this wolf is really going to pull it over the edge. But we'll see. Okay. Decrease down. Let's pop it out a little bit. All right. So next we want to do, uh, let's add the top, the, uh, the magnets. What did, what did we want to name it? Oh, can I skip this song? It's putting you to sleep. Sure, sure, sure. I do love this song, but it's okay. Here, let's go to something a little bit more upbeat. There you go. How's that, Kelly? You dancing now? Bonita! Tishi! Hello, Bonita! Boop, boop. We got, now, we're, now we're dancing. Now we're cruising. Okay. Hey ya. Okay. Let's get that magnet in the top there. There's a lot of I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Bonita real quick to make sure that our magnet is put on there right. It, it is. However, it's very weak because there's so much like yarn on the inside because of all like the additions that we made. So I'm gonna add actually an extra magnet on the inside. Like that. Give it a little bit extra of a magnetic attachment. There we go. All right. Need an extra magnet. trying to make sure that the magnet is as high up there as we can. All right. There we go. Now left a frog. Okay, now let's add some stuffing and then we can sew on the tail. those extra threads in there too add a little bit more weight all right that's pretty good um I actually i'm gonna sew on the tail after i close it up and the only reason i'm gonna do that is because i think it'll be easier to um get that magnet a little farther up the head i think it'll be easier to sew it on if i have it already sewn closed so we'll add the tail after we sew it closed Oh, Carly, there's Carly. Okay, wait, Carly, what did you want to name yours? The frog, Florence. Oh, Florence the Froggy. That's a pretty good name. Fatima, please don't uh, 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 hog the, the stream chat if you can. But I do like the idea of the wolf being named Luma. I won't lie about that. Ozzy, Ozzy the Panda. Oh, that's a cute name. Ozzy the Panda. Loving Life has a question. What? What is your question? How can I help you? I'm decreasing it down now. I'll go ahead and I'll get a, a Google Sheet made so that we can start getting name suggestions for our two, um, our wolf and our panda. We just need a few names and then we can do a vote on them a little later. But we do need to vote on the next animal too. This magnet is getting weird. Okay. Pull the magnet off inside here you know what's fun is being able to open my window and hear seagulls that's kind of cool that's kind of a cool thing the 
Yeah, it is really, I, I mean, it's literally really expensive to ship to Canada, Emma, which is so crazy because you're like right next door, but it's like, it costs more to ship to Canada than it does for me to ship it to like Japan, <laughs> which is insane. Yes, and totally what Curious Snail says. Do not give your personal information out if you can. Please, please don't give out information to strangers on the internet. That's just that's just always a good move, not to give out information to people, to strangers. All right, so we've got our wolf basically done. We just need to sew on his little tail, and then we'll have it finished. we got two ends here. We're going to start with this end. go through right in the back right here one two three four. I think we'll just sew it on like around for one two three four so we're gonna go around like this stitch and then we'll come out through somewhere on the side it's not bad for a wolf though I mean, I'm glad we made the changes for the ears, for sure. But, like, for a first try, even with those other ears, like, you know, wasn't that bad. Uh, and we're going around that. No, we're going over here. One, two. Yeah, we'll do it like this. So it'll be slightly this to the side of our wolf's body. But the reason I want it to be kind of off to the side of our wolf's body is that it's going to... I want it to be able to see it from the front. So I want to try to make it so it's like that, so you can still kind of see it from the front of our wolf. That's my idea. That's my thought process while I'm sewing this tail on. Two. And. Bum bum. Boom. Over to here to double knot it. Oh, well it kind of went off to the other side, so my idea didn't really work out as well as I wanted it to, but that's okay. Oh yeah. Fantasy creatures, absolutely. What kind of fantasy creatures should we do? I saw someone suggest a dragon. I don't know if I can do a dragon in this one, just because like, I just need to think I, I think I need to put more thought into like how a dragon would be put together for this. But uh, yeah, I do like that idea of doing like fantasy creatures. Hey guys, we got our, we got our wolf. Look at that. That's not bad, right? Not too bad. Okay, so alterations, if you want to make this, um, it's basically the same as the, um, like th this pattern basically in the, in the bottomless book. The only difference is that I added an additional single crochet to each side of the ears, um, which I'll put into later. Um, and then the other, the other thing, uh, is like I used a bobble stitch for the nose and then the tail is, is custom, but it's a really easy tail. I explained it earlier in this part. So yeah. You know, I'm never uh, going to give you up. Uh, and I don't think I'm ever going to let you down. Or turn around and hurt you. Um, okay, so we've got the next options uh, for our, uh, our next creature to make. Hey, hey, blue and red, you're going to go on timeout. I, yeah, that's, you are filling the chat here, man. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, so we got red panda, a vampire bat. We already have a bat one. A wolf. Yes, it would be a wolf. Willie the wolf. Oh, that's right. We want to get a name suggestion document out. Okay, let's do that real quick, and then we'll get our vote for our next one. I want to kind of go a little quicker on the next one, so I'm going to choose some stuff that are like 
maybe like a little bit easier for me to make than, than you know, I, it'll still be new, but a little bit easier. Um, okay, name our bounimals. Um, how do I merge growth? Oh, whatever. We're gonna say name the panda. Okay. And then name the wolf. All right, I got a Google Sheet for you. Edit, copy link, okay. Boom, put it in the chat. That's where you can go ahead and name our characters. All right, so next we need to make another character. One more. A unicorn, huh? That'd be an interesting, it's an interesting idea. Okay, so what should we make next? Pull. All right, so we got, I like the idea of doing a chameleon still. Um, I think a raccoon is going to be too time, time sensitive, too, too much going on there. Um, let's see, what other things we, can we make? Oh, that's right. A squirrel and a hippo. That, yeah, that was the other one. Okay. So let's do that. Squirrel. Hippo. Okay. The vote is out. You get to vote on what are we what are we making next, guys? I'm I'm vote I know exactly which one I'm voting for. Oh, you're gonna make it tough for me, huh? Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. The typing's not working? Oh, it's working for some people. Ooh, I like the name Twig. Whoever chose the name Twig, that's a cute name. Yuki, that's a fun name. Akiko, that's an interesting one. Who said Akiko? That's a fun idea. What, what does that mean? Does it mean something? Oh, Virginia. I mean, it's working for some people. What name do you want, Virginia? I can. We someone can add it to the document for you. And if anybody has any other ideas for names, just put it in the comments, and someone will put it in there for you. And if they don't, I will. Okay, what's winning here? Mm, ooh, it's a close call, guys. We're like pretty much neck and neck between chameleon and unicorn. Only like one vote difference. Okay, let's let's look up pictures of these animals so that we can get start getting the yarn for them if we want to make them. Oh, I know exactly how I'd make that too. Okay. All right, I'll give it just a few more seconds for the voting. So if you want to vote on it, vote now or forever hold your peace. I really like this wolf actually a lot. The, the bigger ears were such a good move. Um, thank you guys for encouraging me to do that. Uh, I didn't want to, 
but I'm really glad I did, and I, and I really appreciate uh, your guys' encouragement in general. Um, yeah, just while we're waiting for this vote to go through, and thank you guys for joining. Thank you for joining this live stream. Thanks for crocheting along with me. Thanks for being subscribed and donating or being a member if you have. Like, you guys make my week. You guys make my life. I, I really, really want you to know that I, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you. Okay, we are like, oh my gosh, it's so close between the chameleon and the unicorn. I don't know what's going to win. Okay, wait. Let's refresh this to see if the... Man, our, our picture thing is not working. All right, we're going to put this guy out. Oh, whoopsies. Put him right here. A wolf out like this. Jacob. Oh. <laughs> Emma, that's a good name. That's a really good name. Okay, let's. I think the. I think the. I think the vote is gonna be unicorn, guys. We do have a mini unicorn pattern on the website, but that's okay. We are gonna use. We're gonna be using our off-white again, which is kind of funny, because I usually don't use this yarn, but we're gonna be using it a lot. We're using it a lot in this video. Uh, we need pink. Oh, actually, that's even, this is even better. We're gonna need some rainbow. We might need two different kinds of rainbow and a different kind of pink. Really crazy rainbow. There it is. Okay, so this I think is going to be the main instead of this one. This we're going to use for the horn. We're going to use pink for the nose and stuff. We got white for the eyes. This I was going to use this for the nose, but I think pink is going to be better for that. And I think that's all we need. Okay, guys. We're gonna call it. Um, how do I close the poll? All right. These are the colors we're using. Um, before I get going, let's check for new members just so I don't accidentally miss one. Okay, we don't got one, but that's okay. All right, we are gonna be making, let's get this, let's clean up our station a little bit. It's a little messy. Okay. All right. Unicorn's going to be easy, guys. Easy. Here we go. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to start with pink yarn, which we're going to use for the nose. And for the nose, I'm actually going to use a pig nose, which I know sounds funny, but I think it was going to work perfect because I used it for the cow also. And it actually was really good. It was it like worked out really well. So I think it's going to work for a horse also, which is basically what a unicorn is. So we're going to go pink. We're going to do pig nose from the book. So actually, I think this entire pattern for the unicorn is already going to be in the book. Because we're going to do pig nose for the no for the face one two and then yeah okay boom okay one and then i like to get the nose set up way ahead of time so i don't have to do this later do like our hidden end. And look at how nice this is for the nose. When you make the nose from the book, it actually has both of the tail ends coming out like right next to each other. Perfect for sewing it onto the face. So that's that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. 
All right, we're probably gonna need a little bit more pink for sewing it on too, but we'll go ahead and put that right there. Okay, so we got our nose. Um, next, we need our ears. For the ears, I'm just gonna do our small pointed ears, which were the smaller version of these ears that I used for the wolf that we had to cut off. So we're gonna do that again, but we're not gonna cut it off this time because I don't think we're gonna need to. Mostly because it's gonna have like a mane and stuff. So, that's pretty easy. We're just gonna do the small, oh, oh, my camera's fuzz. Which camera? Oh, the, this camera, right? Not my face camera. Or do you mean the face one? No, no, we're, we're all good. We're all good. I didn't miss any donations or anything, have I? No, okay, we're good. A curious snail. Oh my God, you're so funny, a curious snail. I just noticed that you just subscribed, but that means that you donated before you subscribed? You're a, you're a saint. What? That's that's very cool. Keeps getting fuzzy. It's trying. It's trying its ding dang darndest. It's not fuzzy anymore though. It's just trying to figure out what it wants to focus on. Alexander. Yeah, it looks like it's figuring it out though. Maybe. It, it does keep doing that fuzz. It keeps changing the focus. Here, I'll tell you what. Let's just change it back to manual. There we go. And now it won't change its focus. We'll just keep it focused around here. Cooper again? Oh my god. Oh, and, and your choice specifically. Okay, okay, so here's, hold on, Cooper. I just saw your comment. I saw your tip. Let me let me finish this ear really quick. Because you had a question in the... I'm just looking at your eyes and your nose. Okay. Just love you both. Okay, cool. All right, so we got our ears, we got our nose. Cooper, all right, Cooper donated for 10 bucks. Thank you so much, Cooper. He has a question specifically about the possum, which means that you not only get to name the possum, but also give you information about the possum right now for color changes. And uh, I'm gonna add it to my shoulder for you. So, Cooper's questions was about the color changes for the possum. So here's how the possum works. It starts all white, um, and then the color changes after that. So the first round is all white, and then the second round, you change to gray right away until you get to the eye, and then you change to white for once you get to the eye, and then it's white until you get to the other eye, and then it's gray. And then when you get to the eye again, right under the eye for the increase, right under the eye is gonna be gray, and then it'll be white stitches. You're gonna use the nose from the mouse. And then after doing the nose, you do two stitches in white. And then you go back to gray for the rest of the pattern. The ears are gonna be black. The legs are gonna be black. And I did color changes in the bottom to make them pink, which is pretty tough, but uh, it did work pretty well, I think. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing that for our unicorn too. So if you wanna see how I did that. And then the only other thing that I did was I wanted the head to have more of like kind of a widow's peak for the, for the, um, for it. So what I did was I embroidered on, uh, some gray just at the top, uh, just to make a little, like a V, a point right at the top there. Okay. So again, that's white in the first round, then change to gray. And then when you get to the eye, change back to white until the other eye, then back to gray until you do the increase in gray right under the eye, and then you do all white with a bobble stitch in the middle for the nose until you get to the next increase, which is gray. And then it's all gray from there on, except for the legs. Let me know if that helps. I hope that uh, solidifies things for you. What would you like to name uh, your, your possum? Cooper, you get to name your possum. What do you want to name it? 
And we're gonna put the possum... I wonder if I can put it in my hair. I'm having a good hair day. But... Oh yeah, he's, he's up there. See him? He's in my hair. Uh, oh, that's really weird. It tickles. But we'll see if he can stay up there. Okay. It really tickles a lot. Um, all right. <laughs> I can't do it. It tickles too much. We're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna do it right. Um, right here on the shoulder. We'll go right here. There you go, Cooper. Tishy, two euro from Tishy. All right, Tishy. into the bag of bonimals. There's still a lot of bonimals in here, guys. Let's go with a... Ooh, I know. I know exactly which one. Where, did he... Where was it? I just pulled it for a second. There it is. This is for you, Tishy. A purple mouse. A purple... A purple mouse for you, Tishy. Which one was yours again? This one, right? I'm pretty sure this was your last one, Tishy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you can put your your bottomless together. Give the fox a little bit of room to breathe. All right. <laughs> All right, back to it. Um, we're gonna need that pipe cleaner that I used earlier. Where did I put that? Where is the pipe cleaner? The pipe cleaner? Doko desu ka? Hmm. Okay, we'll get a different pipe cleaner. Uh, it's fine, I don't even want that pipe cleaner anyhow. I didn't even want that pipe cleaner. I wanted a different pipe cleaner, so... Ooh. We're gonna use a pipe, pink pipe cleaner. That's gonna be for the horn. Okay, we got nose, we got ears, we've got pipe cleaner for the horn. The mane we're gonna sew on separate, same as the tail. All right, let's get going on the body. Once I make the face, I'll give you another hint for the giveaway, by the way. There is a website. The website's actually even cooler than the channel. <laughs> in my opinion. All right. The only reason we're not using pink tissue for the uh, for the unicorn here is because um, the nose and the feet are going to be pink. So, one, two, three, four. so I didn't want to do pink for the body because it would make the nose and the stuff like not really show through yep what sarah just said not all patterns are free but a lot of them are there that is true we do have a shocking amount of free patterns on the website um although if you become a club crochet member you get every pattern that you want it's only five dollars actually it's free to sign up too tree top can can you give a name suggestion for your youtube account your me seeks YouTube account. What do you mean by that? Huh? Can I give a name suggestion for you YouTube account treetop? Hmm. You have a me seeks, right? That's what the me seeks is. Okay. Well, first off, let's put something out for you. I think it's I think it's high time. I think it's about time for the cow. Treetop, you get to name the cow, which is a pretty big, um, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty good one. So Treetop, you get to name this cow, and then also give me an explanation of what you meant by naming your su suggestions for your YouTube account. I'd love to know what that means, because I, I'd be happy to give you suggestions. But, uh, yeah, you need to name this cow. And I'm going to put the cow... I'm going to put the cow right here. I'm going to go up from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now I'm a cow. 
Okay. One, two. Back to this. And we need our white yarn. I, I agree, the cow is very cute. The cow is cute. We're actually doing a lot of the, like we're kind of reusing the cow pattern for this unicorn actually. So the cow is in the, I mean the cow itself is not in the PDF, but the all the instructions for making the cow um, are within the features on the way, on the pattern. Okay, one, there, pull that tighter, pull this tighter, boom. Ba -ba. I love Mario games. Change the name Treetop. Okay, so instead of the name Treetop, I'm bad at giving names. Okay, I mean, clearly. Uh, I mean, Treetop's not a bad name. Uh, what is your channel? Do you do something? Do you do you make videos? Let's find out. Can I go to the channel? Let's go to the channel. Let's see what. Let's see. What, oh, Treetop, you don't have you don't have any videos. Okay, so let's say let's see let's see what should we name your YouTube channel? Hmm. Hmm. Clip clop games. Well, that's if you're gonna play games, I guess. Uh, ooh, Trudy's a good name, Treetop, for the for the name of the cow. Betsy. Ooh, an axolotl. Oh my God, Joe, why didn't you say something sooner? We would have put that in the vote. Next time, we'll make an axolotl eventually. I think that's a great idea. We definitely will make an axolotl though. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna go like this, like this. Chonky channel, the chonk, the chonks chan, chonky channel. Do, do, I'm trying to think of a new name for Treetop's channel. I kind of like Treetop though. Sandal soup. Sandal soup. Sandal soup. The best kind of soup that you've never had. Sandal soup. Mmm. Gotta get that sandal in there. Make sure it's uh, the broth. The broth. S sandal. Sandal soup. Get it out of at a the corner of a 7-Eleven near you. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Uh, Chaos City, how was my day today? Thank you for asking, Chaos Cities. Uh, my day was alright. Um, yeah, I've just basically been trying to get this all prepared, uh, all day. And, uh, I crocheted what was on, what's the giveaway. I almost said what it was. Uh, <laughs> The, the bonimal that's under there, I crocheted that today. Uh, and then I fixed up some stuff on the website to try to get stuff ready. And yeah, just basically been a day of, of kind of working, getting prepared. Uh, I was up till 4 a.m. last night uh, finishing up the, the pattern and stuff though. Sandal Candle. That's a name. Sandal Candle. One, two, okay. I think I got some of our cat, my cat's hair in there. Oh well. Fix. I fixed it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It's a bonimal, but it's not—it's not one that you've seen. It's a new bonimal. Um. Okay. Bye, Ryu. Thank you for joining. Thanks for being so chatty. 
It is, uh, oh, what time is it here? It is 6 p.m. here. The sun is just getting ready to set. It's actually beautiful out there. I did forget to leave the house today. Whoops. That happens. That happens. I shoulda, coulda, woulda. Unicorn, unicorn. Gotta, gotta, gotta get the unicorn. Unicorn, unicorn. The hard part of this unicorn is going to be adding the mane, I think. I think that's going to be the hardest part to try to make sure that it looks really good. But we'll see. We'll see. The rest of it, I think, shouldn't be too crazy. Um, we'll just add the eyes and the nose. The horn should be pretty straightforward, I think. I know exactly how I'm going to do that. Uh, and then the feet, I'm going to do color changes in the... Um, the bobble stitches for the feet so that they look more like hooves. So we'll see. We're just about done this round. And then we're going to make the face. And then when I'm done with the face, we'll do a hint for the giveaway too. So don't let me forget. All right. Next up is the face. We're going to use big eyes for this face because it's a unicorn and it needs it. Unicorns. Okay. Big eyes. Oh, it's it's so fluffy. I'm gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a good eye. Good eye. <laughs> For you Aussies out there. Did you say, did someone say it's 3 a.m. in South Africa? You're in South Africa and you're awake at 3 a.m.? Okay, first off, thank you so much for joining from South Africa. See it, Africa. This is more see it, Africa. No, no, that's not good. D ignore me. I'm sorry. It's a plea. You simply, I don't want to be in Chupi. That's my, that's my South African accent. It's really bad. Really bad. South Africans got probably the most difficult accent for me to do. I will give you another clue in just a bit. I just need to add these, uh, uh, the face here. You are so sweet, Melanie. I think I said your name right. <laughs> All right. What's the name for the panda? That's a good question. We gotta, we gotta vote for that. We have got to do that vote. Um, but we're adding the face first. See, so this is going to be the nose for the pan for the unicorn, and then we're going to do a horn on top, right at the very tip top there, and then a mane in the back. I think this should work out pretty seamlessly. Should. It's always should. It's always should with you, isn't it? We're going to keep this part looser, and I think what I'm going to do... Oopsies, I said that I'm wrong. I'm gonna go this and then out here. One part of the nose. The other bit's gonna go in right here. Go up 
there. That. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how is this going to be a unicorn? But just, just hear me out. Uh-oh. Burp's going to steal my sneeze again. <coughs> Too much floof in the air. I'm floofed out. Man, I'm floofed out. See? There's the nose for a unicorn. Double knot these guys in the back. Oh, thank you very much. Bye, Isha. Thanks for joining. Ah, uh, no. I personally cannot hable espanol. But I know you can, Naughty Flowers. Naughty Flowers is one of the, is is uh, the person that helps us translate patterns to Spanish. So, if you have used any of the Spanish PDFs, that is uh that's her. That's all her. She's the helpful one. Okay, we got our nose. We got our eyes. Uh, next, I want to add the. Um, I guess we can add ears next. I think the ears need to go higher up on the head. Right, because a unicorn. Yeah. So we need to go like more like that for the ears. And then the horn. You know, maybe we will add the horn first. Let's do the horn before we do the other part. For the horn, should be pretty easy. I think all we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go fold it in half like that. And basically how we did the bamboo for the panda. By the way, try not to cut pipe cleaners with scissors. It Messes up your pipe cleaner or your scissors. Mess up your pipe cleaner. And then we just twist it up. But I didn't. I didn't want to deal with getting my pliers out for cutting pipe cleaners. Right now, these are. This is a very strong pipe cleaner. It's gonna have a very strong horn. I think all I need to do. I think I'm just gonna go straight through the center with both of these ends for the horn. I don't know if we're going to need to use any magnets for the head of our unicorn here because I don't know why. I don't know how you would get another character to sit on top of its head, if, if I'm being honest. Do you see how that. See how the horn's going to horn be a horn? that maybe i should have added the ears all right before i cover the horn with rainbow yarn let's add the ears just to be safe because it might be really hard to do this afterwards Emiliana, thank you for joining oh my gosh zoe congratulations you're finally sewing them together that that must have taken you forever I think we want the ears. Yeah, I think we want them higher up like that. Go one there. Oh, more there. Okay. Go around this 
part of the ear. Back in. And pull it tight. That's a that's an ear. Looks looks pretty good actually. As far as ears go. Better than the wolves. <laughs> Not really wolf. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Ouch. Double knot. One. Wound. Two. Uh oh. There we go. I can actually cut this other end too. Yeah, the unicorn is definitely going to be a topper of a of a bonhomie. <laughs> what I mean by that is we're not going to be able to put another bonhomie on the top of the head of a unicorn, so it's going to have to be on top of like the yeah. It'll stack, but it won't be you won't be able to stack on top of it. Ta -da. Uh, there won't novelty. They're not this Sunday, but the Sunday after this there will be. So not this Sunday, but next Sunday we will do another live stream, and it probably will be Bonimal related again. But we'll see. I haven't set it up yet, so I'm not totally sure. But there will be another another live stream next Sunday, not this one. I'm gonna be out of town this Sunday on a. Go. And I won't be able to live stream. Right? Nope. Right there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I want to play Mario now. Okay, back in. <laughs> the ears are a little funny. The ears are a little bit funny. I, I will be honest. They're just a little pointy, but I think once we have a mane and, and once we have this horn all colorful, it won't be that bad. We'll see though. I think I just could have done again smaller ears. That's okay. Maybe not. Maybe not as pointy. Eh. But it's a horse, you know. Or, I mean, it's a unicorn. But okay. Let's add color to the horn. We're gonna use this rainbow yarn. This should be fun. too crazy we're gonna come up through the bottom or I guess off the side so I did that by accident and then we're gonna do basically what we did for the um, bamboo we're just gonna wrap around the pipe cleaner all the way up cover the pipe cleaner up start with blue there it should switch over to green oh, it looks like it's gonna be mostly blue which is kind of a bummer we might need to, um, actually, you know what, let's unwrap this a little bit. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this blue out just enough so that it starts blue and it changes to green. Like that. Ooh, a little bit more. Like that. And then that way we'll get some green in there. And then coming back down, hopefully it'll change to orange. Or I might need to go back up it with another color. Would I ever stream playing games? I think I will on my other channel, Louis Loops. 
Um, here, this channel. I might stream games here. There you go. So that other, that's my other channel. And I might start streaming games there eventually. Um, but probably not on this Club Crochet channel, to be honest. There we go. Start wrapping our way back down. Pinch this to be more of a pointed horn. I'm gonna actually do this again, and I'm gonna go a little bit more open with it so that you can see the blue on the underside. It looks more like you got little. Out. Go in. And I think I'm gonna have to go over this horn again with the edge of this yarn to make it more of, like more colorful, you know? But we'll double knot these two colors first, and then I'll do that. Oh, Minecraft? That'd be fun. I like Minecraft. It's a good game. Made it sound like there was a pigeon out there or something. Spooked me. I got spooked. All right. Let's add just a little bit more yarn to the horn to make it more colorful. Thank you very much. Just like that. And we're just going to go up. And see how I'm, like, giving ourselves a little bit of room? And then I'm going to go back down. Mm, that's too much. Let's do it. Let's try it again. Up. Boop. Boop. And then back down. Boop. 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 How's that? That's a unicorn horn to me. I'm going to go a little bit more times around the base here to get it so that it's got a thicker base to our unicorn in through the bottom there all right that's a unicorn horn Oh, you want to see Jules' Animal Crossing Island? I think I put the her Animal Crossing, like, uh, dream code somewhere here. She actually hasn't played it in, like, a few months. Like, or probably just, like, a month. She's been playing Pocket Camp a lot more, which is the one on the phone. Okay. Uh, next, we want to add a... Well, actually, we're going to save the main for after our body is done a little bit more. So, before I get to the main and stuff, let's do our second to last hint for the giveaway. So, second to last hint. Uh, where's my hint? Here it is. Okay. So, we're doing another hint for our, um, for our giveaway. Move that over. Hint number one was that the animal that is under this frog doesn't see well. Hint number two was that it is an herbivore. Hint number four, I really like hint number, or hint number three is that there are five species of this. Hint number four, I really like, it's that it communicates, oh wait, oopsies, 
try that again. Just like that. All right. Hint number four is that the animal that is under this frog communicates through honks, sneezes, and poop. Honks, sneezes, and poop is how it communicates. Uh, I will put it in the chat again where you can where you can guess the animal. There you go. And again, whoever gets it right first wins uh, a crochet kit. Whoever gets it right um, in the next the the next ten people to get it right get a the the ebook the Bonimals ebook. So it's a pretty good it's a pretty good win, pretty good prize if you ask me. All right, let's keep crocheting. Llama plays is confident. They're like, I know. I uh, don't try to trick me. I know what animal this is. She said, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see. I don't believe you guys. You really think you know it already? All right. We'll see. All right, now I'm gonna do the legs of our unicorn. And the legs of our unicorn, we want to do bobble stitches, but we want our bobble stitches to be just a little bit different. So, we're gonna do some fancy color work for the bobble stitches here. Like that. This part's, this part's pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie, doing these color changes in this crazy bobble stitch thing. But it'll be worth it, because it'll look you can you'll be able to see the hooves really well. I think. I hope. I really want this to work. Okay. And pull through. Boom. All right, there's one leg. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. That's totally gonna work. Look at that. That's great. That's great. By the way, if you want to do these color changes that I'm doing for the for the um, the legs here, hold on. You're going in timeout, Adriana. <laughs> I just put you in timeout for a sec, but uh, uh, you were just yeah. It's a mole. I guess mole. Yeah, it could be. All right. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm showing you how to do these color changes. Um, all right, so what you gotta do is you gotta yarn over with your, the color that you want the bottom to be. You yarn over and then you switch over to the, the previous color and then you go into the stitch, pull through with that previous color then switch back over to the new color and pull through two with the new color. And then you repeat that four times. If you want to do these hooves, that's how you got to do it. It's a weird one, but it totally, totally gonna work. It's totally gonna work. It better. It better. One, two. Three. And one more. Boom. Four. And pull through with the one. Okay. Boom, boom, bop. There we go. See, it's coming together. It's really gonna look good when we have a mane too. That'll really pull it together. Why don't the burbs like the bonimals? I think that the burbs don't like the bonimals because uh, they're jealous. I think they're just jealous. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe they know something that we don't. What does that mean? What does it mean though? They're so cryptic. I know. Doing bobble stitches really fast. Doing bobble stitches so fast, so fast. Little song that I've, I'm writing about doing bobble stitches really quick. Yeah. Okay. 
Boom. One more leg. Gosh, these legs are complicated, but I really think it's going to pay off. If I don't, like, break my yarn in the process. But, I mean, look at that. Those legs look pretty good to me. <sighs> Alright. One more leg. One. Oh. There we go. Hey, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. If this video gets 550 likes, we're going to do another giveaway next live stream i don't know if it's gonna hit it we only have 300 so probably won't but you know worth a shot i i totally forgot to mention it i think i mentioned it once at the beginning and it is okay if we don't make it No, it's not. It's terrible. It's all your fault. Uh-oh. Oh, that stitch is going to be hard to get into. But not for me. Boom! I did it. I'm a pro. I'm basically a pro. Okay. How are we looking here? Those are some, those are some legs. Look at them gams. Look at that unicorn. That's a unicorn. Especially when we get that mane. Um, all right, I'm gonna do one more round and then we'll do, we'll do the mains. Because the mane and the tail. Okay. Is it a kangaroo? Perhaps. Perhaps it do be a kangaroo. What did someone say? Oh, someone who owns way too many burbs. They don't need a good reason to be jealous. Burbs are fine. <laughs> One. Boom. Ooh, that's some squeaky yarn. I got I got a good squeak out of that yarn that time. All right. Main time. Let's go over to the East Coast to some Maine. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be using our fuzzy yarn here for our Rainbow Maine. We need some good good amount of it. It's probably good. Looks like a... Yeah, it looks, like, looks kind of like unicorn barf, I think, which is exactly what we want. And I think what I'm going to do for the main is I'm just going to thread it on a loop like this and just make knotted in the back here. Wait, so I want it to go... If I go like that... Yeah. You want to go down, out through here, and then up. And then I'll just do this. And then we're just going to do that a bunch. And I'm going to cut it leaving a pretty long mane for right now. Just because we can cut it shorter after we're done with it. We're just going to do that like three times maybe. And then we'll fuzz, we'll like fluff out the mane a lot, which will help. And it might come out through over here too. One, 
two. Yeah, see? That's making a main. Let's do one more. At least. Yeah, at least one more. Let's see. Let's do this one because it'll be or more orange. I know because there's orange right at the end there. Cut it, and floof it. Maybe we should wait to floof it. But I mean, look at that beaut. Look at this beautiful mane. Oh, gorgeous. Cut there, cut there. This one's a little long, that one's a little long. And then if I just go, if I just take my needle and go in between this and I just pull it out, I think it'll just floof up. Uh, am I going to do a, or a Harry Potter finger puppet series? Probably. Um, yeah, probably soonish we'll do that. Um, I want to do pod people. I've, I've got like a plan for that. I've got a plan. I know it's heavily requested, so. I am very aware. My problem is I don't want to like get sued. So that's why I've been kind of like avoiding it a little bit because I need to figure out the best way to do it so I don't get in trouble. Because no one, I, I don't want to get in trouble. You don't want me to get in any trouble. Ron Weasley. There we go. Almost done. Almost done floofing. We're going to do the same thing with the tail, I think. Let's see if I just like... Oh, look at that. That is a unicorn with a mane. It'll come out the front like that a little bit. What a beautiful mane. Oh, this unicorn looks just spectacular so far. We're going to do the same thing for the tail in a sec, um, but let's go ahead and stuff it a little bit first. Um, I'm going to use a lot of yarn to stuff it in the beginning here. Uh, and we're not going to do a magnet on the top because there's not really any point since uh, since we already have the horn up there. So no, no, nothing will be able to go on top of it anyhow. And then let's go ahead and decrease it down. Whoop. Okay, let me put this in the chat, in the name thing too uh you can name the unicorn now because we're gonna need one for the unicorn too and uh let's put a vote for the name of the panda um the name of the panda okay let's do this we got all right name the panda. All right, we got. I like this name. I like this name. We're gonna. I'm choosing four names for you guys to choose from. And. All right. 
Name the panda. Do it. I dare ya. Name my pa name the panda. Alright. Yes, Trish is my back pain. That is true. I haven't heard from Trish in a second, but uh, I do not think it's going to be long till I hear from him, from her again. Alright. Last round. And then we'll add our magnets. Actually, I'm going to finish this round. I think we have one more hint for the giveaway. Because we've been going for like at least three hours, right? Yeah, three and a half. Wow. It was a long, long. I was like, I told Jules, oh, it's not going to be that long of a live stream. Nope wrong extra long live stream i got too excited i wanted to make i was gonna want to make some cool things oops i oopsed it all right emma uh there is a video tutorial for the bonimals um and it actually teaches how to make all the things that you need to know to make this unicorn that being said, I am going to work on a video tutorial for the individual little characters too. So there's going to be new video tutorials for like the elephant and the unicorn and all these other characters. So the answer is yes, there will be um, eventually. Uh, all right, so we want to make sure this works. Whoa, for some reason our magnets for the, for our wolf got like pulled really far down so we're gonna have to like pull it back up there we go fixed it and then yeah okay we're fixed all right and we want to do that they're still pretty far back though it's gonna be hard to stack anything on top of on top of the wolf unfortunately I'm adding an extra magnet into the base of our unicorn so that uh, just because I'm worried it's going to be heavier than normal. Oh wait, I forgot I need to stuff it. Yes, I do plan on doing an aquatic series of Amigurumi. I actually planned on that last year, so I'm, I'm actually kind of behind for that. We want it like that. Like this. Perfect. All right. Unicorn. One. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, close that up. Put in there, out somewhere. All right. Before I add the tail, let's do one last hint. Uh, it's going to be your last chance to guess what is in the under the frog. What what bonimal is under that frog? Uh, and we're going to give you one last hint here, and then I'll add our tail. I have an idea on how to keep the mane a little bit more that, like that, but we'll do that in a sec. Um, all right, so last hint for our Bonimal. Here's the hint so far. First off, we need to pull this over all the way. And then we can do this. Okay. So, first hint was that it doesn't see well. Second hint, okay, second hint was that it's an herbivore. 
Third hint is that there are five species. Three of those species are endangered. Fourth hint is that they honk, sneeze, and poo to co communicate with each other. And I will tell you who wins at the end. And then the fifth hint is that they are also called, um, like, the, the males are referred to as bulls, and the females are referred to as cows of the, of the species. There are your hints. That is all the hints you're going to get. You have, this is your last opportunity to guess. Um, you only have a few more minutes. You can guess here. I put it in the chat. I'm also going to end our poll for naming the panda. And we're going to find out what we named the panda. Chewy. Oh, wow. Chewy. Okay, great. I like Chewy. It's like a little, because he's chewing something. Chewy. Chewy dewy. And then I'm just going to add this tail the same way as we did with the mane. But I'm going to try to make sure that the mane doesn't get caught in the middle of the tail, of course. And we're going to try to make sure the mane goes to the opposite way. So we're going to go like this way with it. Uh, we actually might need a little bit more of this fuzzy yarn because I don't think this is going to be enough. Let's grab a little bit more. We don't need too much. I don't think the tail needs to be as luscious as the mane is, you know? Two. One more. Same spot, though. Ooh, this is fun. It's going to be purple. game this is from there we go clip clop tail done let's go ahead and fluff it all out um, let's see how long do we want the tail about like that long And just fluff that tail out a little bit. We're basically brushing it out, but just doing it one brush stroke at a time. Someone said, brush out the tail. It's like, okay. I mean, we could use like a brush brush, but it's actually kind of hard to brush because there's like this, this other yarn that wraps around it. So it's really hard to like brush that out without getting it undone in general. Hold on, almost done here. And then we can vote on the wolf. We got Chewy the Panda. Huh? Chewy the Panda. All right. Just gonna twist it around a little bit. Like that. And I'm gonna cut the end to be more of like an angle. Just gonna give it like that, and then we're just gonna go. That way it looks more like. All right. Our tail, our mane, our unicorn is finished. Let's get that fur right down like that. I Oh, that's right. I wanted to sew it in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this end right here, thread it on our needle. Actually, let's do it like this. I'm just going to put this leg 
get it in here and out through some stitch. And the idea here is if I go to get the main set up like this, oops, like this, and I think if I just thread on to this. Put that into our needle somehow, somehow, some way. I think I can keep the main down. Can this. Sorry, I haven't been checking the chat in a second. I can't thread this end. It's too fuzzy. Will that work? Hey, yeah, it did. It held it in. Wow, that, that totally worked. <laughs> I, not that I didn't expect it to work. I totally thought it was gonna work. Ooh, ooh. there we go. I'm gonna say that's it. We called. We we made it. We made a unicorn. Pretty good. Not like first try. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Lucky the unicorn. Good name. I like that idea. Okay. <laughs> Sir Pearl Gray, welcome to the chat. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Do you like our bonimals? Look at I'm covered in them. Um, okay, next thing that we want to vote on as we choose our winner for our giveaway is we want to vote on the name of our wolf. Name the wolf. Um, all right, what names do I like? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. One more. Oh yeah, that's right. I like this one. Boom. All right, name the wolf. While you guys are choosing a name for the wolf, let's choose a winner for the giveaway. All right, so let's go through the guesses one last time, or the hints one last time for what is under this here frog. So again, we're giving away uh, the book for Bonimals and a kit for Bonimals. Whoever gets it right first gets the kit. Whoever gets it right, the next 10 people get the free book um, as a giveaway. Um, all right, the hints again were that it does not see well. It is an herbivore. There are five species, three of which are um, endangered. They communicate with honks, sneezes, and poop. And they are also called bulls and cows. And the winner... Wait... I got to, I'm gonna turn off responses. I'm gonna put it into a spreadsheet so I can choose the right winner. And boom. We actually, wow. We have an early winner. In the first 30 minutes, crazy, crazy. And literally, oh my gosh. The person that won, won by three seconds. Is that right? Yeah. Three seconds. They won by three seconds. Okay. All right. So the answer was... Ba -ba -da -ba, drum roll. Blah, 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 blah. The answer to the riddle was a... Boop! A rhino! No, oh, the horn got a little weirded out. And it's not the best. Okay, so here's here's my thing. I gotta give you a little disclaimer here. I made this right before the live stream because I needed another bonimal because I did a beaver. That was gonna be what was under there. But then I realized that I showed the beaver in the live stream in the video. So I was like, okay, I can't do a beaver because people are gonna guess it right away. And someone did. Someone guessed it immediately. They said beaver. That was the first one. So I tried doing a rhino. It's not bad. I just did a spiked bobble instead of a bobble stitch here. And it's okay. I do think that there's some things I need to change for it, but uh, you know, first try, it's not too bad. And the winner of the giveaway was 
the winner of the giveaway with three seconds of a win was Leaf Sauce. Leaf Sauce, congratulations. I don't know if you're still in the chat. Yay! Leaf Sauce won, though, with, like, a close call. Um, the person that got it right right after them was Annaline. So, congratulations, Leaf Sauce. You won by a hair. A hair. This hair. Right there. This little tail hair. Congratulations, Leaf Sauce. All right, and then our winner for the name of the wolf. And then there was a bunch of other people that won. Um, so I'll just, I'll send you an email if you won. But congratulations, Leaf Sauce. I'm very impressed that you got it so quick. I don't know how you did that. How did you get it right so fast? Who knows? Uh, and then the name of our wolf is... Luna, of course it's Luna. This is Luna, little Luna. So we got Luna, we got Chewy. We need a name for our unicorn. That's our last bit. Last question. Unicorn name. And our options are between, oh my God, there's a lot of good options here. Okay, two more. Um, <laughs> that's a good name. Okay. Boom. There is the last options for the name <laughs> I like how someone saw it right away and they're like tickles someone voted before I before I even voted crazy crazy leaf sauce congratulations leaf sauce I'm really impressed by you I don't know how you just yolo it you totally did you know someone said in the very beginning you should make a rhino and I was like ooh <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, right? It, it, I mean, I just, I think it could be a little bit better, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. And then, do we have any more members? I just need to make sure there. Oh, we did. We got a pro member. Whoopsies, I missed it. New pro member, Haley. Haley, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crusade pro member. And I'm gonna put out what I almost chose for the giveaway which honestly i think might be the best use of the book look at that it's a beaver look at how look at how nice that beaver is it's so impressive Haley. i don't know if you're in the chat but if you are um and you'd like to name this it, it's a now or never so name it pretty quick oh there's a jimbo or a phoebe fur on it too but there's a beaver. Oh my god, I'm so proud of this beaver. Okay, well, Haley, thank you for your support. I'm going to put the beaver on me. Just for a sec. Actually, we can do the hair for the beaver. There we go. See him? Let's make him turn this way. There you go. There we go. Hi, beaver. All right, guys. And that's going to be the stream. Oh, wait. We need to call the name here. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's like almost half of you guys voted for Lucky. So, Lucky is the name of our unicorn. I was voting for Francine, personally. But I like Lucky. Okay, so we got Lucky, Luna, and uh, Chewy are three brand new Bonimals. Guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for supporting. If you did, uh, if you were able to, thank you for liking and subscribing and just being here with me on a Friday and crocheting. I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, if you like these Bonimals and you'd like to get the kit or the pattern, it is all available again at Bonimals.com. 
I'm ultra super duper proud of it. Um, here, I'm gonna give you a preview of the book really quick. One sec. Okay, so this is this is a preview of the book. Let me get to the. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. So this is what the book looks like. Look how beautiful it is. I'm so proud of it. And and there's a little page about it. And there's like here's all the sections and all info and what's cool is like of course i've got those little check marks to keep track of your progress and i think the coolest part that i did in this pattern is if i go to like let's go with like the um like let's go with this part so the long tail if i click that little button right there it'll take you right to the video and and directly to the part of the pattern where i talk about that isn't that cool Anyhow, I'm really proud of it. I'm super duper proud of it. Thank you all again for your support. Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Next Sunday. So not this Sunday, but the Sunday after we're going to be live streaming uh, and doing a crochet along. We're going to be doing a crocheting along, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same place. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for joining. Hasta luego, pasta la pizza, and Bobby, you know what, Bobby? Mm-mm. You hang up first. Oh, no. You hang up first, Bobby. Oh, my God. You're so bad. No, you hang up first. Oh, my God. Oh. You are the braddest. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leaf Sauce. I just remembered you have to actually hang up first, though, is the thing. Because, no, you hang up first, though. No, but, but the thing is, though, that maybe if you hung up first... Oh, Sandal... Oh, Sandal Soup! <laughs> I, love your, I love your channel name. Where'd you come up with such a great name for a channel? Pasta la pizza. Oh my gosh. There's so many bonimals on me. It's crazy. Mmm. Mmm. No, 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 no. You hung up first. Oh, villager. No, no, no. You see, but the thing... No, you, actually. You hung... No. Oh, oh you're... No, no, no. You hang up first, though. Ooh. You hang up first. Mmm. Mm -mm. You hang up first. Mmm. No, thank you. You hang up first, though. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.